showcase. A stage to display one's talents from the unforgettable moments. Mankind has achieved his dream! This is home. On the biggest stage. The boyhood dream! What did we just see? Daniel Bryan did it! The miracle kid! To the greatest conflicts. From the biggest names. But this showcase is about a man. A man who became a legend. A man named Stone Cold Steve Austin. After learning his craft from gentleman Chris Adams, Austin would begin his career in 1989. I've been very impressed by Steve Austin's ability. He's showing that he has a potential to go a long, long way. In 1991, the nation got their first glimpse of the future. From Hollywood, California, 253 pounds, stunning Steve Austin. Dominating, overpowering, arrogant. When you bring two world-class athletes together and they mesh as one, you create an unbeatable machine. And we will be unstoppable as a team. Count on it. But despite his success, no one saw a superstar. And when injuries sidelined Steve, the future looked bleak. Next day, I got a FedEx email that I was fired. I was like, I kind of sucked. Frustration took over. There's nothing going my way because the politics kept the biggest potential superstar in wrestling on the ground. Frustration turned to anger. We're going to put the U.S. title on you, and then we're going to take you here, and then you're the number one contender, so then you got this world title shot. Well, all that never happened. And anger created opportunity. The ringmaster seems to really have it all. The size, the strength, the agility, the wrestling acumen. Austin would enter WWE as the ringmaster, but wasted no time turning himself into a more ruthless character. His peers dubbed him the ringmaster. I would suggest to you from the look on his face and his attitude, he's a stone cold, if anything. His moment was finally here. It's on the bigger and better things after King of the Ring, after I win it all. And nothing would be the same again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final match to determine the King of the Ring. It is scheduled for one fall with a one hour time limit. Approaching the ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And Steve Austin, ladies and gentlemen, went to the emergency room after his first matchup with Wildman Mark Merrow and had, I think, 16 stitches in his mouth and his tongue. And he has returned here, King, in the King of the Ring. Well, you know, I gotta wonder, on his way to the emergency room, if he saw Jake the Snake Roberts being whisked away in an ambulance. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the King of the Ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin awaits that man. And King, that man, Chick the Snake Roberts, earlier tonight took on Vader. Oh, man. It was not a good outing for the Snake. He got squashed in more ways than one. Watch this big Vader bomb. It's lucky there wasn't just a great spot left in the ring. 450 pounds doing internal damage. To what degree, we don't know, but Jake Roberts struggling, oh. struggling to even get his, his rip tile. His reptile bag up on the apron of the ring, and Jake is gingerly walking into the ring. This is a one ball match in the King of oh, the yeah. competition, and the rattlesnake showing uh, that he is wanting to end this quickly and convincingly. Oh, look at this, JR. What's he doing to him? He's uh, stopping a mud <laughs> hole in yes. Jake the Snake, and now he is walking it dry. Nothing but high impact intensity. Oh. 
from a relentless, unforgiving Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's pounding toward Jake the Snake like a tent stake. No stopping the rattlesnake here. Austin is not going to give any opportunity for Jake Roberts to fight his way back into oh. this match. Nothing pretty about Austin's offense, but it's very effective. Oh man, here goes. Oh. Austin off that second turnbuckle, driving his elbows into the sternum, the ribs of Jake the Snake Roberts. The King of the Ring Finals continues here. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Ah, stunner, stunner. With a stunner on Jake the Snake Roberts. And the referee counts as three, and Austin has beaten Jake the Snake Roberts. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout, and now reigning king of the ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And there you see Stone Cold Steve Austin, the new king of the ring for 1996. Man, this was some battle, JR. Austin went through some tough guys to uh, finally get to the top of the mountain. There you see him. What is next for Stone Cold Steve Austin? Is I'm this? I'm just wondering how the Rattlesnake's gonna look with a crown on his head. Yeah, I feel like wear it. I wonder if this is the beginning of bigger things for Stone Cold Steve Austin. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the fourth prestigious King of the Ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin, an incredible victory. The first thing I want to be done is to get that piece of crap out of my ring. Don't just get him out of the ring, get him out of the WWE. Because I proved, son, without a shadow of a doubt, you ain't got what it takes anymore. You sit there and you thump your Bible and you say your prayers and it didn't get you anywhere. Talk about your Psalms, talk about John 316. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. Oh, come on, that's not necessary. All he's gotta do is go buy him a cheap bottle of and try to dig back some of that courage he had in his pride. As the king of the ring, I'm serving notice to every one of the WWE superstars. I don't give a damn what they are. They're all on the list, and that's Stone Cold's list, and I'm fixing to start running through all of them. As, yes, sir. as far as this championship match is considered, son, I don't give a damn if it's Davey Boy Smith or Shawn Michaels. Steve Austin's time has come. And when I get the shot, you're looking at the next WWE champion. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Obviously anything but humble, the fourth prestigious king of the ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. As the king of the ring, I'm serving notice to every one of the superstars. They're all on the list, and I'm fixing to start running through all of them. Steve Austin's time has come, and that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Oh, wait a minute, look at that. Cheap shot. Oh, no. Stone Cold Stunner. Oh, come there on. you go. Come on. Stone Cold is the best serious. As Stone Cold continued to scratch names off his superstar hit list, there was one name that had eluded Austin's sights. I'd like to use this chance to issue a challenge against one Bret the Hitman Hart. Bret Hart had been absent for the dawn of 316 and the man who had been raising hell all over WWE. If you put the letter S in front of Hitman, you've had my exact opinion of Bret Hart. I'm the best there is. I don't pay attention to a lot of talk. I'm the best there was. Especially when it comes from you. And I'm the best there ever will be. The hitman found himself in unfamiliar territory, the crosshairs of the Texas rattlesnake. The one thing that's been missing has been me. But the excellence of execution has never been one to back down from a challenge. In the Survivor Series, 
I will face Stone Cold Steve Austin. You're never going to get through with Stone Cold Steve Austin. You're going to have to kill me first, son. And that's the bottom line, and it's the truth. And if I can beat Stone Cold, then I will beat Stone Cold. The rest is easy pickings for the hitman. Son, if you think Stone Cold Steve Austin is a stepping stone, well, watch the first step, cause it's a doozy. Will Bret Hart be able to prove once and for all that he is the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be? We'll see who kicks whose ass. Or will Austin 316 stomp the hitman into exile? You ain't got what it takes anymore. by this capacity crowd. Well, this should be quite the contest, Jerry. Stone Cold Steve Austin, Bret the Hitman Hart, finally going to meet one-on-one. -on -one. This is a rivalry that has been brewing for several weeks now. Well, you're right about that, JR. A long time coming, and it's finally here. Stone Cold Steve Austin, the rattlesnake, going against the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. This should be great. Bret the Hitman Hart, the consummate wrestler, scientific, fundamentally sound, Austin, Likes to brawl. Oh, likes yeah. To, likes to fight. Oh, look at this. Look at this stare down. Are either one of these guys going to be intimidated, JR? I don't think so. Austin trying to get into Hart's head. I don't think that's going to happen. From <gasps> the look at that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> You're number one in the heart of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Here they go. The black heart of the Texan. Potter no bow tie up. And it's Brett the Hitman Hart. Well, had the advantage momentarily. Austin now reverses it. Referee asks for a clean break. Whoa. Uh-oh. I wouldn't want to be the referee in this match, would you, JR? Absolutely not. Uh oh I think Timbers are going to flare really quick. Well, the, the tension. You could feel the tension when these men came to the ring. You knew this was going to be special. Well, look at this. Stone Cold Steve Austin thinks he's in charge here, JR. Yeah, but I think that Brett oh. Hart's got other ideas. Hart trying to get control of the match now. Oh, Bret Hart going for another Bulldog. What oh. else? Off the counters. Oh. There's Hart sturdily first. Man, what a matchup, King. This has been physical all the way through. But I tell you, I think Stone Cold Steve Austin's got to be asking himself, what does he have to do to beat Bret Hart? Can he do it? Oh, look at this. Austin with that diversion of the million-dollar dream, but it's countered by Hart. Hart's oh. shoulders down, and Bret the Hitman Hart countered Austin and pins the rattlesnake. 
Hart has earned a shot now as the WWE Champion. Man, oh man, Stone Cold Steve Austin had that, had that finishing maneuver locked in, but he wouldn't let go when, when Hart was on the ropes. That's what really cost him the victory. The million dollar dream cost Austin maybe a million dollars. This rivalry is far from over. I guarantee you that, my guy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a special submission match. Hailing from Victoria, Texas, weighing 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Nothing fancy about this man. You talk about it in your face, that's who Stone Cold Steve Austin is. Well, you're right about that. Steve Austin is six foot two, 252 pounds. And he said there's not a human being walking the face of the earth that can make him say, I quit. You know what? I think I believe it. so-called hitman are mixed. I quit match, Ken Shamrock, the referee. We are in Chicago. This is WrestleMania 13. Neither Austin or the Hitman have ever submitted in their professional careers. It's all on the line here. A lot of pride. Who's the alpha male? Nice leg sweep by the, by the Hitman. And this crowd is going wild, JR. They're, they're waiting to hear one of these superstars say they quit. You gotta think that the Hitman is second sharpshooter. Focusing on the leg of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh-oh, this is not going to be good for the rattlesnake. Oh, man. Red Hart. Oh, man, look at this. Ow! The figure four using that ring post as leverage. Shamrock trying to free Stone Cold. And Austin, the damage has been done. Austin in a bad, bad way. But he still will not say he quits. Oh, look at this, JR. And I'm telling you, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, look out! Look out. Oh, inverted atomic drop. And Austin, that's a low blow, technically. Again, a no disqualification match. Referee Ken Shamrock helpless to do anything about him. Now, what's the hitman doing? I uh oh, look out. Steel chair. Red Hart bringing a steel chair in the ring. It's as legal as a wrist lock. Things are about to get ugly. Oh. Right to the leg. Austin in trouble. Oh, no, no, no. Hart's got evil intentions. This is going to be damn bad, JR. This is going to be real bad. Oh, look at this. This is going to be... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Bret Hart took too long. Stone Cold got the chair. Oh, man. The steel chair right in the spine from downtown Victoria, Texas. Oh, look at Austin. He is begging Bret Hart to get back to his feet. And that... Uh oh Look out, JR. Austin's got the chair. Austin keeping his word. <laughs> Oh my God! He said he was gonna beat the hell out of Hart. 
and he's doing it last steel chair. What an amazing match here at WrestleMania 13. The hitman, oh, Bret man. Hart, trying to lock oh. in the sharpshooter king. You know how that feels. Yes, it I is do. deadly painful. Oh my gosh, and Bret Hart has it cinched in. Stone Cold Steve Austin, I don't think he's got any choice, JR. He's going to have to say, I quit. Austin a long way from the ropes. He can't reach the ropes. Referee Ken Shamrock right down in Austin's face to hear him say, I quit. Austin in a bad, bad way, obviously. Wait a minute. Brett got off balance. Brett lost his balance there, lost his, his leverage, but he didn't re relinquish the hold. Oh, he still got it locked in and now applying even more pressure. An amazing display of guts. Listen to Shamrock. He's saying, Austin, do you quit? Do you quit? Shamrock's done an amazing job of fishing this match. Austin has passed out. That's it. Austin is unconscious. As a result of Stone Cold Steve Austin losing consciousness, the winner of this bout, Brett Hitman Hart. The match is over. The referee has stopped it. Austin cannot continue. And there's no reason for Bret Hart to continue this onslaught. He's won the match but he's frustrated that he couldn't make Austin say, I quit. He's going to try to put that sharpshooter on again. Shamrock, look at Shamrock. Shamrock with a takedown, waistlock takedown, and Shamrock will fight you, Brett. He will fight you right now. Bret Hart showing no sportsmanship whatsoever after winning this controversial match here at WrestleMania 13. Well, Bret Hart wins, but Stone Cold Steve Austin just too stubborn to say, I quit. And this crowd chanting, Austin. Austin, man, what a, we come in here, Hart was the fan favorite, Austin was the enemy, they leave Whoa, the different hey, roles. Stunner! Austin on one leg. You never trust a rattlesnake. Never. They don't make good corporate pets, let me tell you. Austin on one leg, refuse to say I quit. In the wake of WrestleMania 13, as audiences began to gravitate towards Stone Cold Steve Austin, a dark cloud began to form, separating the hitman from fans south of the Canadian border. First of all, I want to apologize. What? To all my great fans in Canada. For what? And to you, my fans right here across the United States of America, I apologize for nothing. You take a gunless creep like Stone Cold Steve Austin and beat him to a bloody pulp, even though you all know that he lost. You cheer him on the way back to the dressing room like he won. You don't respect me. Well, the fact is, the American wrestling fans can kiss my ass. Let me clear the air because I never, ever said I quit. You never got the job done. As Bret Hart's relationship with the American fans continued to crumble. Americans don't give a damn about family. The hitman would turn to his family to forge a new foundation. I'm asking you for your help because I need you. It would take more than numbers to rattle the rattlesnake. I'm finished with you. You'll have to kill me to be finished with me. The only way I'm going to get Stone Cold Steve Austin off my back is to end his career. Like a pack of wolves! One of these days, April 20th at In Your House, I'm going to look down at your grave. Here lies Brett the Hitman Hart. Because Steve Austin whipped his pink and black <laughs> And that's the bottom line. Because Stone Cold sets up.
opponent from Victoria, Texas, weighing 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Well, I'll tell you what, Austin is the most tenacious SOB in the history of WWE. Yeah, he's here to fight. It's as simple as that. Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's feeling it. He knows he's in charge right now. Look out, Bret Hart. Oh, double axe hand on to Hart's head. Austin wants to beat Hart like a government mule oh. here with the hitman. He's not going to give up without a fight. And that's why we've had this whole match. Whoa. A fight. This fight is spilled outside the ring, out onto the floor, and it can get dangerous out here. Oh, look out. Austin. Reversal. Oh, Austin reverses. And Bret Hart goes for the ride. My God, there's no surcease, and Hart's got a family, for God's sakes. I don't think Stone Cold Steve Austin cares about Hart's family right now. Watch out. Oh! Hart's head bouncing off the steps. The tide has turned. And now, look at the rattlesnake. He's adding insult to injury, mocking Bret Hart. And what a match here in Rochester, New York. It is Stone Cold Steve Austin using the strength oh, of Bret Hart. It's essentially three-on-one against the Rattlesnake. We have some other officials trying to keep the Hart Foundation at bay. Yeah, good luck with that. Stone Cold Steve Austin going back with that sharpshooter again. He's trying to beat Bret Hart with his own home. The Hart family fights like this at Sunday breakfast. <laughs> and Austin trying to win with a sharpshooter. Oh, watch out. Look out. He's got a chair. Oh, my God. Austin hammered right in the spine with that steel chair. The referee calls to the bell. That'll be a disqualification. Bret Hart will lose this match via disqualification. This is not the way Austin wanted to win it, no doubt about that. Well, wait a minute. As a result of a disqualification, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Making the mistake of getting back in the ring, thinking Austin's wounded prey. But Austin's loaded oh, for Bear, oh, man. Austin's loaded for Hitman with a shot you can hear in Calgary. Get out! Oh! Right across the knee with a steel chair. Austin laying it in on the Hitman Bret Hart. And now it looks like the Rattlesnake is determined to break the leg of the Hitman Bret Hart. Ironically, in Hart's own sharpshooter. Man, what about poetic justice here? The referee trying to reason with Austin, who's won the match by disqualification. Here are some other officials. There's no stopping the rattlesnake now. We need a rattlesnake intervention. <laughs> this is not the way Austin wanted to win the match by disqualification. But what a rivalry between Bret Hart, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and the Hart Foundation that is far from over. I guarantee you that. Trying to help a limping Bret Hart back to the dressing room. And the Texas Rattlesnake gets his hand raised. He'll get the winner's share of the purse tonight. And the Hart Foundation forced to regroup. The issues between Stone Cold and Bret Hart were far from over. You come right out here right now in a street fight, and I'll beat your ass back to Canada. Anything goes, but can be no disqualification. Austin striking the kneecap. The shot's here. Bret Hart's knee is ripping and tearing with his own hole at the hand of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Bret is hurt severely. Although Bret was not able to compete, the Hart Foundation was determined to continue their dominance as they grew the foundation. Jim Neidhart, the other brother-in-law. Boy, it would infuriate Bret Hart. Steve Austin to become the champion. It's over! Wait a minute. What the hell is that? Brian! Miller just rang the bell. The Hart Foundation has cost Steve Austin the title. 
As the hearts targeted Austin, the rattlesnake would find an unlikely ally in Shawn Michaels. Team champions would face off at King of the Ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. About to enter the ring from Victoria, Texas, weighing 252 pounds. The co-holder of the WWE Tag Team Championship, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin, here he comes. I don't know why he has become such a fan favorite, but he damn sure has. And you know, you just can't trust that man, JR. I don't care if he's liked or if he's not liked. He's got the personality of a rattlesnake. Oh, look at the rattlesnake, JR. What a matchup, Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Great action. These two men, two, got to be future Hall of Famers in WWE as Austin having a little fun now at uh, HBK's expense. Yeah, you might not want to take too much time to gloat there, Stone Cold. Still some work to be done here. Absolutely. Michaels very oh. resilient. Mr. WrestleMania, Shawn Michaels, trying to work his way back up to his feet. The snap mare by Austin again taking Michaels off Michaels' feet. Well, Michaels. Hey, look at this. Look. Oh, nice, nice counter into the reverse chin lock. Michaels with the educated feet, the sweet chin music. Austin with a stone cold stunner. They're both looking to finish the other off any way they can. Well, watch out here. Sending Michaels into the rope. Oh, big shoulder tap. Michaels with the advantage. Austin boys contact. And Michaels again reverses Austin. Boy, action fast and fierce. Oh, Great oh. athleticism. Look at it. Uh-oh, caught. One time. Oh, no. Inverted atomic drop. Michaels vulnerable on the outside clothesline. Can Michaels get back in the ring? Michaels goes down hard, JR. 
Oh, what a match we have here, JR. Look the, at this. The tag team champions against each other in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Don't call Steve Austin. Oh, look out, look out. Oh, Austin, the referee, cracking heads. The referee is down. Austin is dazed. Ah, sweet chin music. Oh, he's caught. Austin blocks the sweet chin music. Downstairs, Stone Cold Stunner. The stunner on Michaels. What no referee? Austin counting his own three count, but that's unofficial to say the least. Looks like Stone Cold's gonna try to revive this ref and get that count. Austin trying to get the referee uh, coherent, but wait a minute. What? A stunner on the ref. For what? What was that all about? Austin, the Texas rattlesnake, strikes oh! all sweet chin music. Good grief, what a shot to the face, but no referee. Wait, there's another referee. Come on, ref, turn around. This referee is trying to revive the original referee. The yeah, referee stick together trying to check on his uh, well-being. Oh, oh Michaels, sweet chin music on the second referee. We've got striped shirts down. Zebras are lying everywhere. Now, Michaels like trying, trying, to get, trying to get the original referee to count. He does one, two, and that's it. No, oh my gosh, Stone Cold kicked out. Got so many zebras down, it looks like a wild kingdom. Come on, get one of these referees revived. Michael's trying to revive the referee. Here comes a third referee. At least he's fresh. A third referee has seen what's going on. It's Austin also disqualified, it looks like. And the and Michaels has been disqualified. Both Michaels and, and Austin are going to go home with a short end of the purse tonight. I don't think absolutely anything has been settled here. The referee has disqualified both men, ruling this bout a double disqualification. How are these two men going to coexist over the long haul, tag titles or not? Whoa! Also trying to get a shot in on Michaels. Oh, look out, look out. They're thinking the same way. It's a standoff. King, there's no trust here. <laughs> None whatsoever. Like one of your marriages. Yeah, There's right. no trust. And it won't last long either. It won't last long. How can these two guys coexist? They're great, they're great wrestlers. They're amazing athletes, but there is absolutely zero trust involved in these two guys. Two massive egos, but very talented. They'll be fun to watch. Soon after his battle with HBK at King of the Ring, Stone Cold became embroiled in a heated rivalry with Owen Hart. I was the man that beat Stone Cold Steve Austin. I was the man that pinned his shoulders to the mat for one, two, three. Austin wanted Owen one-on-one -on -one for his Intercontinental title which the champion agreed to under one condition. At SummerSlam, when he pins me one, two, three, if that happens, he can pull down his trunks, bend over, and I'll kiss him right on his ass. Austin will have to be a man of his word if he loses the match. Going hard, he'll kiss his derriere. I'll kiss his ass if I can't kick it, and that's the way it's going to be. The match has not even started officially. Going hard, going to work on the team. Let's see what Austin can do with him. In an instant, Austin's career had changed forever at the hands of Owen Hart. Austin is hurt and hurt badly. Despite his championship win, Austin's severe neck injury would cause him to relinquish his tag team and intercontinental titles. But not even a career-threatening injury would keep the rattlesnake down. What is this? Austin is scheduled to present the winner of the Intercontinental title belt. Owen Hart and Peru. Oh, spinebuster. No body hole. Helping Owen Hart win the Intercontinental title, Austin secured himself a championship rematch against the man who sidelined him. The match is underway. The Intercontinental title is on the line. Austin got vengeance and his Intercontinental championship back until... is calling all the shots on this one. Why? 
because I'm the champ, and I got it like that. Who's doing that, Ross? Rocky, I'm calling all the shots. I'm pushing all the buttons. You know your ass belongs to Stone Cold. Ladies and gentlemen, there you see them, led by The Rock, the nation of domination. About to enter the arena, accompanied by fellow nation of domination members, Farouk, Kama Mustafa, and Hilo Brown, is the challenger. Weighing 270 pounds, The Rock, rookie, by Mia. Mama Mustafa, D'Lo Brown, Farouk, and The Rock. Okay, finally, the time has come for The Rock to defend his Intercontinental title. He'll lay a little smack down on you if you let him. Man, what a, what a, what a rival. Look at this. Wait a oh my gosh. His opponent from Victoria, Texas, playing 200. Only the rattlesnake. World Wrestling. Pole, Steve Austin. With the deck stacked the distance. But what an entrance they are. And here we go. Steel Brown. Yo, Stone Cold all over the rock, but watch out. Steel Brown from behind and for roof. Dilo is sneaking up on the rock that to Austin's attention. Austin been beat down. The match has not started. Now this is bad for Stone Cold. Austin may be too damaged to even have a match here. And look at the nation of domination. They're stomping that mud hole in Austin and walking it dry. The nation doing exactly what they came here to do, dominating. Uh-oh. What's Dilo thinking? D'Lo Brown, oh my God! What elevation D'Lo landed on the hood of the truck. The former main black bear, D'Lo Brown. And that was this, oh, a stunner. Good night, D'Lo, thanks for coming. The resale value of that truck is gonna be nil. <laughs> Look at this, Austin sent into the ropes, and now over the top rope, out onto the floor, JR. The Rock maneuvering Austin over the top rope. Austin landed very, very uh, awkwardly uh -oh, uh -oh. on the outside. Here uh -oh. comes Farouk with a double sledge and a right hand to the kidneys by the giant. And Kama Mustafa getting in on the action too. These guys are gonna, oh, oh. landing Austin's head right into his own truck. And now the chair, oh my God. Um, Austin able to duck out of the way and now, oh. Austin dodged a bullet and fired a double barrel shot of his own, but The Rock taking advantage of Stone Cold. Yeah, what a matchup. And The Rock counters, scoop slam. Ooh. The great one slamming the, uh, the rattlesnake. Uh oh, look at, there goes that elbow pad. Ah, look at that move. Here comes the most electrifying move in all of sports entertainment, JR. Oh, it's the people's elbow pad. No, he missed him. Austin dodged the bullet there. And the rattlesnake fires with his piston like right hands. Another right oh, hand. Oh, look at this. Stone Cold Stunner for right. Whoa, wait a minute. From the eight for the big man. Got taken down by Austin. And then Austin now, the, he's dismantling the nation. Except, uh -oh. Oh, no, oh, the rock. Oh, my God. No. No, come on, rock. There's, uh -oh. there's no sense in this. The brass nuts. My God. The rock with those nuts. Austin drops it. Oh, Stunner. The Stone Cold Stunner King. Yeah, but oh, there is a referee. Retaining the Intercontinental Championship, Austin set his sights on the biggest prize of all. So what I'm gonna do, Rock, I'm gonna forfeit the damn title to you tonight because I got bigger fish to fry. Trust me, champ. The new Intercontinental Champion, The Rock. DTA, Rock, 
don't trust anybody. One man. Royal Rumble's rolling around, and the word in the locker room is that everybody's gunning for Stone Cold Steve Austin. One mission. Steve Austin strikes first, and that's the bottom line. Steve Austin is going to do unto others before they do unto him. One prize. Steve Austin's going to raise hell as only Steve Austin can raise hell, and that's it. And it's now time for the Royal Rumble match. The winner of this match will meet the champion at WrestleMania 14. Austin came from the crowd. They added all blocks. Stone Cold Stunner. And the Rock is gone. Stone Cold is going to WrestleMania. Stone Cold Steel will challenge the Heartbreak Kid, Sean Michael. So what I want you to do, Austin, is shine up that chrome dome of yours so that the Heartbreak Kid can crack it like an egg. When Stone Cold meets the Heartbreak Kid, it will be the toughest match of my life. That is coming with Stone Cold, whether you like it or not. It ain't gonna be easy. It ain't gonna be easy. It ain't gonna be possible. Oh. Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold Steve Austin. This is it. Introducing the challenger from Victoria, Texas. Weighing 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Can you feel it, ladies and gentlemen? Wherever you are, can you feel all the emotion that we're experiencing here as the WWE Championship is about to be put on the line? The number one contender for the WWE title, Stone Cold Steve Austin, must overcome the greatest WWE Champion of all time, and perhaps even the Enforcer, to get it done here tonight. It ain't gonna be easy. Shawn Michaels is the most honored champion in WWE history, ladies and gentlemen. The only man in WWE history to win every major World Wrestling Entertainment title. He's been the WWE champ three times. He's been the tag champ three times and intercontinental champion three times. And you know what, JR? Stone Cold Steve Austin don't give a rat's behind about all of that. He's here to take what he thinks is his. I'm gonna tell you something, JR. If the rattlesnake can get past Shawn Michaels, plus that enforcer, plus Triple H outside the ring, he's really done something here tonight. But can he do it? And what he's done is become the WWE Champion here in Beantown, Whoa. Austin. Austin showing Shawn Michaels just what he thinks of uh, Michaels' attitude. Attitude or not, Michaels arguably the greatest in-ring performer of all time. 
with a stinging left. I don't know if you want to anger the rattlesnake with a fist this early in the match. Maxwell's playing some mind games against Austin, who's very aggressive. Has everything to gain in this match, does Austin. Look out! Oh, nice close line by Austin, taking down Shawn Michaels. Stone Cold's going to want to slow this thing down, be deliberate. Right now, Stone Cold is introducing Shawn Michaels' face to those top turnbuckles. They are not very friendly, quite frankly. Michaels trying with everything he can to do to get out of the ring. Have to go to the outside where he's got some friends. A leg sweep there by Austin, taking down Michaels. You want to slow Michaels down? Woo! Oh, my God! Ooh! What a back body drop right over the top rope. Michaels colliding on the outside with his comrade. And now Stone Cold has an advantage. Get hey, out. watch out from behind. Triple H. Oh, well, we knew this was going to happen. Well, watch out. Triple H running the rattlesnake right into that, right into that barricade. Man, this is, uh, this is borderline a handicap match. No kidding, boy, the referee admonishing Triple H right now, reading the riot act. Watch it. And the issue about it is for the WWE title. We're at WrestleMania. The WWF official has informed me that he is ordering Triple H to leave the ringside area immediately. Triple H has been ejected. Yes. And his nose will get to the locker room an hour before he does. <laughs> man, oh man, this is good news for the rattlesnake. Oh, but this is bad. Look out. Oh, uh, look at this, JR. Reversal. Austin caught in the sleeper hole. A beautiful sleeper by Shawn Michaels. He's cutting off the uh, blood supply to the brain, crimping the carotid artery. Oh, Austin man. is fading. The referee making sure Austin is, if Austin goes unconscious here, this match is over. And oh, the referee caught in the corner. Oh, again, Michaels and Austin both destroying the referee. There is no referee right now. And here comes Michaels, but oh, out of the way. Is, oh, let me introduce your face to that top turnbuckle. Oh, JR, you know what this means. Austin in trouble, there's no doubt about that. And the enforcer taking out the trash. And Michael's tuning up the van. Oh, no. Can you hear that music playing? Oh, no, sweet chin music. No. Austin counters. Austin the ball with a stunner. Oh, what's that foot from? Oh, it's caught. Caught by Stone Cold. Austin blocks. Ah. And Austin with a stunner. Austin with a stunner. Could this be it? The enforcer in the count. Austin's got it. Stone Cold. JR, you told me it was going to happen. You said history would be made at WrestleMania 14, and it's been done. The Enforcer counts out Shawn Michaels. Stone Cold had become the face of Vince McMahon's WWE, but the Rattlesnake had always shown that he would never be one to suck up to the boss. You ain't gonna mold me, you ain't gonna break me. What you see, Vince, is what you get. Stone Cold Steve Austin has learned his lesson. No longer will Stone Cold Steve Austin be considered a beer-swilling, trash-talking, blue-collar champion. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, you will see a new and improved Stone Cold Steve Austin The new Stone Cold wants you to take this camera and get the film developed because this is the absolute last time.
we will ever see Stone Cold Steve Austin wearing a ridiculous suit like this son of a bitch I got. After being humiliated by Stone Cold, Mr. McMahon challenged Austin to a match the following week on Raw. Oh, You said you could beat Vince McMahon. One hand tied behind my back. Also with one hand tied behind him. If you want me to whip his damn ass with one arm, give me a hell yeah. What the hell is that? Following Dude Love's ambush, Austin would seek retribution against the Love Doctor at Unforgiven. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest, scheduled for one fall, is for the WWE Championship. Coming down the aisle from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, weighing 287 pounds, Dude Love. And I don't know, this is a, a mixed, bizarre persona. He's also been known as Mankind. And his most famous persona was Cactus Jack. Yeah, and by the looks on some of the faces of the females out here, this Dude Love is a real Don Juan. The women don't want to have anything to do with him. So Paul Steve Austin, dude love one-on-one, -on -one. Oh. and dude, those massive legs and that Joe Stecker-like uh, body scissors. And look oh, who's no. here. Look who's here. Mr. McMahon and his stooges. Jerry Briscoe and Pat Patterson. And his Briscoe uh, has got a chair, and you knew who that chair is for. You got to say it's for Mr. McMahon. Mr. McMahon, where do you put the chair? Mr. McMahon. You're right, Vince McMahon sits anywhere he wants to, and now he wants to take a ringside seat to view the action here. Yeah, well, good job, Pat. Yeah. Pat and Jerry, you, you, did, you did your job. See you, Stooges. Yeah, you guys can leave now. As a dude love with that body scissors oh. on Austin. Austin catching the elbow. A dude love kept his hands down. Austin took advantage. Uh oh! oh. In the south of Tijuana. I wouldn't doubt it a bit. And uh, how do you feel, Austin? There you go. Hey, look at this. Dude Love about to get sent for the ride. Wait a reversal, JR. Dude Love looking for an advantage. He may have it here. The abdominal stretch. McMahon wants some bell to be wrong. Well, now look at this, JR. Vince McMahon instructing the timekeeper to ring the bell. But wait, he's not ringing it. Well, right now, Austin's got the advantage. McMahon says, no, don't ring the bell. Don't ring the bell. No, oh, no, no, right. don't ring the bell. Oh no, this is terrible. And oh! Dude Love with a counter. It looks like this is going to continue. Oh, look at this. Dude Love sent into the ropes, but oh, he caught Stone Cold with a neck breaker. Nice neck breaker by Dude Love, much to the 
delight of Mr. McMahon. Mr. McMahon still at ringside. McMahon and Austin have got an amazing rivalry. There is total disdain, and I look at dude. What he's, is he doing? Dude is jiggling the man. Does he think he's the showstopper? Is he going to try sweet chin music? Hey, dude, you're not Shawn Michaels. You're a few fries short of a Happy Meal, and now you're caught. Uh oh. Austin, sign language. Uh -oh. oh, dude! Rumbled and bumbled and stumbled and ran right over the referee. So the referee is down. And Stone Cold Steve Austin should take advantage now. Austin, and he is. Austin, nothing pretty about those right hands, but they're very effective. Dude loves. Hey, reversal. Oh, reversal by Dude. Nice move. And Austin downstairs <laughs> looking for the stunner. The stunner is countered. Now the mandible claw. Oh, no. Mr. McMahon likes what he's seeing. The mandible claws and tied to Austin. Oh, that, it, that nasty hand right down into the gullet of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Who knows where that hand has been? And Austin may be moments away from losing. And, and dude love. There's a cover. Going for the cover. Oh, no. The, the claw again. Referee's incapacitated. Mr. McMahon trying to revive that referee. You better wake up, referee. You'll be fired. McMahon is admonishing the referee. And dude's got Austin beat, but no ref. You don't want to give Austin any second chances. And that's what he's getting here. And here comes another mandible claw. Whoa, look out. 300 plus pounds over the top rope. Oh, well, look at this. Chaos here. They're fighting over that, that metal folding chair. And who's going to, oh boy. Austin got the chair, but now knocked right out of his hand by dude love. Dude Love is staggering around. Dude Love, Mr. McMahon looking on. Yeah, Mr. McMahon saying, hit him, hit him with a chair. And Austin with his worst elbow, drives the chair back in the face of Dude Love. He may be missing some more oh. teeth. He may kill some more brain cells. And down goes Dude. And look at Vince McMahon admonishing Dude. Oh, oh my God, the rattlesnake put that steel chair right up the side of the head of Vince McMahon. The board meeting has come to an abrupt end as Austin throws Dude Love back in the ring. Oh, look at this chair. Oh, stunner. Austin nails a stunner on Dude Love. Hooks the leg. Austin's going to count. Austin now is the referee. What the heck is going on here? My God, what is this? It's insanity. And Dude, WWE Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Snake has struck. I cannot believe that Austin has hit Vince McMahon, the owner of the WWE, and he hit him right in the face. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages, please stand in honor of our special guest referee and the owner of the WWE, Mr. McMahon. You still got to wonder who, if anyone, is going to volunteer to make sure that Mr. McMahon officiates this match fairly. Don't worry about that, JR. This man is as honest as the day is long. Honest Vince. And now, the challenger for tonight's main event. For us, no greater success stories has been written in the history of the WWE. This rags to riches story shows what can happen by following Mr. McMahon's example. Your number one contender, give it up for Dude Love. He's a corporate hip cat. He's got his teeth in, he's got his hairstyle, he's shaved, he's wearing a blue blazer, and he could be wearing the championship belt by the end of the night. Here's the bonus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just 
sit back and relax and be quiet. First of all, he's a beer swilling fool. He's a foul mouth punk. He's a disgrace to every human being alive today. Well, I got news for you. I am not going to announce the bum. That's all there is. Well, this man needs no introduction, I can tell you that. And there he is! Listen to these people! This was the building in 1996 at the King of the Ring when the phrase Austin 316 was born. Is The Undertaker here for yet another piece of Mr. McMahon, or is he here to volunteer to make sure that Mr. McMahon will officiate this match fairly? Well, this is not right. Look at poor Mr. McMahon. He is livid, and I can't blame him. Oh, look at this, JR. Oh, dude, love countering the attack of Stone Cold Steve Austin here. This is nothing but Muskogee on Saturday night. Watch out, watch out. Oh, Spanish announce table didn't go down, but our amigos are scattering. No kidding. Vamos. Adios. Austin is hurt. Austin is now in trouble. What? This is a reminder that this match is a no disqualification. Hey, what is going on here? I don't know, but who knows what McMahon's going to do? He's insane. He's making up the rules as we go along here. Oh, look at this. What an abuse of power. Mr. McMahon, Mr. McMahon is a referee in his jacked up referee shirt. Oh no, look at oh, Austin taking a chance. Boy, that chance may cost Austin this match against Dude Love. Patterson and Briscoe on the outside. Mr. McMahon is the referee. How can a referee be so one-sided? Look out here. Oh man. The Austin and McMahon, they, they detest each other. And now Stone Cold Steve Austin out on the floor and in big trouble. And here comes Dude Love again. Dude Love on the outside. Austin. Oh, neck breaker. Dude can't win the match on the outside, can he? Austin is lying motionless and wait a minute. This is a reminder in this match, falls count anywhere. Austin with his right hands on Dude Love. WWE title is on the line. And here's the cover. This. And the count. Oh, how fast was that count by McMahon? But somehow, Stone Cold still kicked out. Mr. McMahon, the self-appointed referee. Wait, he's calling. McMahon's calling for help here. Oh, God. He's calling for a give Dude that chair. Dude Love oh, watch with, it. It. with a steel chair bears it in Austin's abdomen. Oh. And right on the spine of the Texas Rattlesnake. Well, Austin in deep, deep trouble, King. That has got to be it. All Dude Love has to do now is cover Stone Cold Steve. But what, he's going to dish out more punishment on the chair. Double R D D T. Austin's head on a chair. It's over. It's over. No, no. Austin kicks out. The Rattlesnake kicks out. And Vince McMahon cannot believe it. And neither can Dude Love. Dude Love still now armed with that steel chair. And here comes Dude. And oh, Austin. The counter, the chair, right back in the face oh. of the toothless wonder, Dude Love. And now a clothesline, Dude Love's down. Mr. McMahon very concerned, as he should be. Oh, boy. That, the chair is legal. The chair is legal. And Austin, wow. what a shot. That was out of here. That a, is it. A four-bagger with Austin's hey, chair hey. shot. And, Look at this. Come on, ref. Come on, Mr. McMahon. What kind of human being are you? He will not count. McMahon just hates Austin. Hey, watch it. Tell, look watch out, it, look Stone Cold. Oh! Dude Love inadvertently looking for Austin's head. Found Mr. McMahon, and there's another referee, King. Oh, looks like, yes, it is a stutter by Steve Austin. Austin going for the cover. Should be all. There's the count. 
Uh, hey, wait a minute. Oh, come on. What is Jerry Briscoe doing here? These stooges are a pain in their, they're worse than hemorrhoids. Get them out of here. Oh, boy. End of applause, JR. End of applause. Austin in trouble with a man of applause. And now Briscoe's going to try to make a count. Woo! I've got it's the Undertaker. The Undertaker. And he is about to choke slam. Briscoe's got right through the announce table. Briscoe's body shot can't put Jerry back together. No way. Now let's see who. What's Patterson doing? Patterson trying to make a count. And now the Undertaker uh -oh. has Pat Patterson. Patterson's going to go banana. <laughs> banana. Oh, Austin going for a stutter, but he's caught with that mandible claw, JR. Austin looking to do. Oh, oh, there it is. The stunner. The stunner. Yeah, Austin but, with a stunner. But yeah, the, McMahon's out, JR. How's he going to count? What? But Austin, resourceful. Austin counting. <laughs> using the, the unconscious arm of uh, Mr. McMahon. Using an unconscious Mr. McMahon's arm to make the three count. The chairman of WWE is not going to like how this went down. <laughs> but Austin and Undertaker glaring at each other. You know what's on the Undertaker's mind. Exactly what Austin has in his right hand. The WWE Championship. Despite the chairman's best efforts, Austin retains his WWE Championship. When you put this son of a bitch on the line, that means your big dead ass belongs to Stone Cold Steve Austin. But Mr. McMahon devises a demonic plan. Kane challenges you, Austin, to a match in which clearly the winner will be the man who draws first blood on his opponent. A first blood match. This cane is your destiny. The rebellious rattlesnake wasn't backing down from any challenge. To Kane, I say this. I'll accept any kind of match you want to throw at Stone Cold Steve Austin. I bled before. I ain't afraid to bleed again. The following contest is the first blood match for the championship. McMahon's numbers proved too much for Stone Cold, but Austin would exercise his rematch clause for the championship the very next night. I want to rematch with Kane right here tonight. And it's fine with me as long as it's all right with Paul Bear. It's all right with me. It's okay with Kane. Will you give me the rematch tonight? is scheduled for one fall with TV time remaining and it is for the World Wrestling Entertainment Championship. Introducing first the challenger from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Well, I'll tell you what. The atmosphere in this arena right now is absolutely breathtaking, ladies and gentlemen. You can feel the emotion, you can taste the emotion, and you can smell the tension. All the WWE is red hot. It's red hot, folks, and Austin wants the title back. Well, he's not gonna get it, JR. And his opponent being led into the ring by Paul Bearer 
He weighs in at 326 pounds, and he is the World Wrestling Entertainment Champion, Kane. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Kane certainly has the championship advantage. And by that I mean that Austin must beat Kane. Kane does not have to beat Austin. And JR, here comes the champ. Look at that, a big red role model that he is. The one we can all look up to and be proud of. Stand up, JR. So much anticipation, and it all comes down to this. Hey, look at this. Austin going up. Oh, look at this, Jared, going for the tombstone. Austin counters off the backside. Austin looking for the stutter. No, and Kane counters. Oh, here we go. Oh, Kane missed the big boot. But Austin did miss the stutter. Oh, look at this. There it is. It's a three count, JR. Austin's won. Austin pitched Kane. There it is, though. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, oh the Undertaker entering the ring right over the top rope. Oh, this is not good for the Rattlesnake. The Phenom locking eyes with Austin. And boy, this could get ugly in a hurry. Oh, wait a minute. The Undertaker turns his back on Austin. JR, you don't do that to the Rattlesnake, do you? Never turn your back on the oh, Rattlesnake, or you might get stunned. Stone Cold Steve Austin has beaten Kane. He has stunned The Undertaker, and Austin has the WWE title. Oh my gosh, what a night for Stone Cold Steve Austin. And of course, the, oh, oh, the Brothers of Destruction setting up simultaneously. The Undertaker has defeated Psycho Sid for the WWE title, a two-time WWE champion. This is going to be a war, folks. Undertaker almost seven feet tall, almost 300 pounds, and the number one contender for the WWE title. Oh, you're right, JR. It's been six months since The Undertaker decided to get his championship back. Tonight, I think it's going to be the night. He is ready for war.
No WWE champion has ever entered this historic New York City arena with that kind of ovation. I literally feel this building shake. Okay, okay, JR, I'll give you that. Every single soul is on their feet in anticipation. They love Stone Cold Steve Austin, but they love The Undertaker too. This is truly going to be the collision on the highway to hell. Uh, we are seconds away from the start of this title match. Oh, look at The Undertaker. He has enough gas left in the tank to duck that. Oh, what a lariat by The Undertaker on Steve Austin. It looked like Stan Hansen's lariat. What impact by The Undertaker. Both Undertaker oh, oh. and Austin down, Undertaker up. Going to go for the cover or not? Let's see. Oh, no, I don't think so. He's wanting to finish Stone Cold off completely. Undertaker punishing Stone Cold Steve Austin. What a battle between two of the all-time greats in WWE. The Undertaker in firm control right now of Stone Cold Steve Austin. And you're right, JR. It looks like The Undertaker wants to administer a little more punishment to the Rattlesnake. The arm ringer. Uh oh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Old school. Old school coming up. He's going to walk those ropes. No! Look and, out! And Austin just jerked The Undertaker right off the top rope. Man, you don't see that happen very often to The Undertaker when he goes up top. And Austin stumping away at the ankle, the knee, the shin, trying to destroy the vertical base of the near seven-footer with those vile stomps to the leg. Undertaker in big-time trouble now, trying desperately. Uh-oh. Oh, look at Kane. Kane sees his brother, The Undertaker, in trouble, Kane, and is making his way toward the ringside area. That does not bode well for the Rattlesnake. The Rattlesnake is not backing down. Referee trying to get Kane away from the ringside area. Wait a minute, look at this. And now Big Brother, the Undertaker, says, I don't need you here. Go back to the locker room. Stone Cold Steve Austin doesn't know quite what to make of this. Uh, it's the Undertaker refusing help from his own brother. Yeah, go back to the locker room, you pyromaniac, and play with some matches. Oh, my gosh, now Stone Cold Steve Austin all over the Undertaker once again. Whoop, look out. This is a Muskogee, Oklahoma ballroom brawl on a Saturday night between two of the toughest guys in WWE. Austin, oh! Austin right back on that injured leg of The Undertaker. And now Austin talking trash to Kane. Oh, look at this. Here comes Stone Cold. Oh, and there goes Stone Cold. Austin's own momentum took him to the outside. Smart move by The Undertaker. The dead man now on the outside is even more dangerous than he is on the inside of the ring. Yeah, this is not a good spot for Stone Cold Steve Austin to be in here. Oh, look out, look out, look Coming. out. Man, those steel steps can't taste good. They're not covered in JR's barbecue sauce, let me tell you. This man is so unpredictable, so dangerous, is The Undertaker. Austin finds a very uncomfortable position on the our announce table. Referee trying to communicate with The Undertaker. The referee scolding The Undertaker, but that doesn't do any good. None, not whatsoever. Undertaker's not gonna stay in the woodshed. He'll kick the door open. Now the referee trying to get The Undertaker back in. Get inside the ring. Austin lying prone on the announce table. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is The Undertaker doing here, JR? This just doesn't look good. He's seven feet, 300 plus no! pounds. No! The Undertaker with a leg drop. My God, Austin's broken in half. There's no way Austin can recover from this. And the, and the announce table didn't even break, but maybe Austin's body did. Referee checking on both men. It looks like it's carnage. It looks like a car wreck on I-35. And yeah, that's it. Austin is finished. And The Undertaker now seizing the moment with no conscience. The man, the demon of Death Valley, manhandling Stone Cold Steve Austin.
If The Undertaker would have listened to Mr. McMahon, he could be WWE Champion right now. You smell what the rock is cooking. Certainly Mr. McMahon, Shane, his boy, and The Rock let us in on a conspiracy that had everybody do. It was apparently a plan all along to make sure that Stone Cold Steve Austin would not become the WWE Champion. So Austin gets screwed, Mankind gets made a fool of, bless his scrambled brain heart. Well, what we've got here, JR, is history in the making, and the fact that we'll see no more people's eyebrow. It's now the corporate eyebrow. And the people's elbow, well, that's history. It's the corporate elbow from now on when The Rock lays the corporate smackdown on somebody. for the rattlesnake. Almost 20,000 on their feet here in Lexington. And here we go. It's history here. Austin has this match won, but they, look out! Undertaker's in the ring with a shovel, JR! A shovel! Oh my god! Oh. Man, Austin, he hit the swing for the fences. The shovel striking Austin. Austin is done. What in the world is the Undertaker doing here? Not again. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Undertaker is going to finish Austin once and for all. Being restrained. I'm shocked to even see that. What the hell is going on here? Look at Paul Bear, that, that bulbous human being trying to restrain his son, The Undertaker. They are Stone Cold had this match won, but now with the help of The Undertaker, The Rock is still the WWE Champion. My God, dark days are ahead for Stone Cold Steve Austin.
the phenom who has unleashed his ministry of darkness recently. Yeah, and look at him. He's walking right past what he intends to make Stone Cold Steve Austin's final resting place. Snake Jr. He's got to be. He's got to be shaking in his boots. You think? Buried alive, man, here in Vancouver. Yeah, he's looking over and inspecting what may be his own grave site. And the Undertaker has never lost a buried alive man to our knowledge. Austin, to our knowledge, has never been uh -oh. in one. Austin, here he comes! Oh! And quick to sneak going off that uh, hill of dirt. Right there, Austin going for a clothesline. Didn't even take the Undertaker off his feet. Remember, there's no count outs. There's no disqualifications in this match. The match ends when one man is literally buried alive. Oh, look at this. Austin ramming The Undertaker into that barrier. And The Undertaker using whatever he can, whatever he wants, and it's all legal. The referee just gonna stand back. That's all he can do right now is stand back and watch the carnage. Oh my gosh, JR, this match is giving me chills. The closer these two get to that grave site. Undertaker, often buried alive. A real walking, talking sovereign offer. Oh no, oh look at that shot. Oh no, JR, Stone Cold's in the grave. Will Austin be buried alive by the Undertaker? Or can Austin somehow, someway survive? Oh no, the dead man's going after that shovel. But look, Austin's, Austin's moving. Austin's got a heartbeat. Austin's alive. Austin's getting out of the grave. Stone Cold lived the fight. Oh, what a battle this has been, JR. The Undertaker trying to get Steve Austin into that grave. These are career shortening matches, to oh. say the least. Austin with a right hand. Whoa, wait, Undertaker teetering here. Oh. Look at this. Taylor. Austin with a stunner, and The Undertaker fell into the grave! Austin stuns The Undertaker all the way to hell in that grave. And there goes the dirt. The Undertaker is buried alive! Paul Bear in panic. Paul Bear waddling off. I don't, where's he going? Austin now getting out of the, getting out of harm's way. Through, Wait a through hellfire and brimstone, the explosion of explosions. The Undertaker crawling back up out of that grave. He's alive. The Undertaker is alive. But now what? What? My God, it's Kane. What in the hell is going on? This is this is unbelievably macabre. There are no okay, rules. Uh, the two man. demonic brothers are to literally beating the hell out of each other. Everything goes. Oh, well, that's right, JR. You carry your opponent. Anyway, any shape, any form, any fashion that you can. Keep in mind, folks, Stone Cold Steve Austin 
Just with go. this man. Pain on the the advantage for the Royal Rumble. <laughs> And also keep man. in mind that both these guys are familiar with shovel. Oh, this is going to be it for Kane, I'm afraid, Austin JR. Suffered a concussion Wait. with The Undertaker Kane. blasting him in the, the head with a shovel. Oh, and then a couple yeah, weeks we ago, Stone Cold returned the favor. Okay, no, no, he smashed The Undertaker's head open with a shovel. That's a question here. Oh, my God. Oh, the freak. And The Undertaker is thrown into the grave. And look at this. Kane. Kane has tombstone. The Undertaker. Now, can somebody tell me what the hell is going on? With whoa, 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 whoa. What in the world, JR? Is that a backhoe being driven in here? First, a dysfunctional family reunion, and now a backhoe is being brought into play. Stone Cold Steve Austin Good. has commandeered a backhoe. Good God Almighty, what's next, ladies and gentlemen? What is next? This is unbelievable. And now that, that backhoe is, is going into operation here. Kane tombstoning his brother, The Undertaker, into the grave. And now Austin directing traffic wants that backhoe operator to back it up, load the uh, bucket with dirt, and bury The Undertaker alive. I cannot believe what we are seeing here. Austin directing traffic. And that, now what's Austin doing? I never thought Austin could beat The Undertaker in a buried alive match. Oh my gosh, Jared, look. Are you kidding me? A couple of cold ones. What is this? A farewell party for The Undertaker? It's a going away party. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Whose party is this? The celebration has begun with a cold brewski. Good God almighty. I've never seen anything like this in my life. an assist from the Big Red Machine Kane, Stone Cold buried The Undertaker and qualified for the 1999 Royal Rumble. But on Monday Night Raw, Mr. McMahon had a big surprise for the Rattlesnake. We will now choose the very number that Austin will enter the Royal Rumble. Austin has drawn number one. This is ridiculous. Just when it looked like the WWE chairman had gotten the upper hand on Stone Cold, the tables quickly turned. Stone Cold Steve Austin will be the first man to enter the Royal Rumble. And the second man who will be entering the Royal Rumble will be Vince McMahon. The stage was now set for a truly unforgettable Royal Rumble. And here comes Austin! Mr. McMahon is running for Austin! And Austin has him in the crowd! Oh no, this is horrible! Hey! It was a trap! The Cooper team has ambushed oh, Stone Cold! Stone Cold was taken away in an ambulance. And he's not coming back. Wait a minute, there's an ambulance! It's Austin! Mr. McMahon! Austin's back! Rattlesnake would get one last shot at becoming the number one contender for the coveted WWE Championship. All Stone Cold had to do was take down his arch rival, Mr. McMahon, inside a steel cage. Phenomenon. 
More than 19,000 people on their feet for the most popular superstar in the history of the WWE. And tonight, his title shot at WrestleMania 15 hangs in the balance. He's been waiting to get his hands on Mr. McMahon, and tonight, Austin gets the opportunity. Yeah, you're right, JR. Well, here he comes. Oh, look at him. <laughs> look at him. Mr. McMahon, certainly full of himself. Uh, what, JR. what human being walks like that? Only if you're golden. Good grief. Well, Mr. McMahon. Good Lord. And Austin waited in a cage. We have waited a long time to see Mr. As Briscoe would say, Mr. McMahon. Right. Mr. McMahon and Austin in a cage. And we're about to see, see him get it on. I don't think this match is going to last very long for the chairman of WWE. Wait a minute, this match may not even get started. It looks like Mr. McMahon wants no part of getting in that steel cage with the rattlesnake. I don't blame him. Hey, wait. Mr. McMahon running away. McMahon running away from Austin. Have you ever seen McMahon run like that before, JR? Only the last time I asked him for a raise. He ran right out of his office. And now, look at this. On the door, Whoa. The doorway. Trying to kick Austin away. Yeah, now he's not going to let Stone Cold Steve Austin inside and, the cage. Oh, look and, out. And now Austin's toying with McMahon. I'm glad McMahon's wearing dark tights, dark clothing. Because i got to believe he's scared to death. Austin. Well, well there, there are more than one way to get inside that cage. Looks like Stone Cold Steve Austin's going to climb up and into the cage. And McMahon tried to climb out. What in the world? Austin is... Austin up there on the top. But man, proving pretty agile here. Oh, Whoa. oh, oh, gosh. Austin's left knee buckled. Austin's left knee as he jumped from the cage, twisted, and now Stone Cold Steve Austin right in front of us, uh -oh. writhing in pain. And look at this. Mr. McMahon sees an injured Austin. I think he's going to take advantage, JR. Uh, McMahon very opportunistic. Austin trying to get the feeling back in that knee, trying to straighten it out. And hey, wait, 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 wait a minute. Oh, yes. Stone Cold strikes. Mr. McMahon is down. Now look at this. I think, uh, oh. oh, that was a low blow, JR. Oh, that's a tenor shot. That's <laughs> south of the border. Now, and, and look at now, Vince McMahon, I think he feels the only safe place for him is inside that cage away from Austin. He's going to try to climb in again, but uh oh, the rattlesnake going right after him. McMahon does not, uh, has made a bad decision here. He should have, don't leave your feet, Vince. You know there's only one way to go, and that's down for you. Right. Austin's got evil intentions. Gravity will bring you down, oh, Mr. Shot. McMahon. What a shot right oh. to the head. Oh, my God. Oh, for the love of God, McMahon, the chairman of WWE, has just crashed through the announce table, and Austin is surveying his handiwork and likes what he has seen. Oh, my God. Mr. McMahon, J.R., you had we to need fall help. over we 20, need help. 20 feet down through that from the steel cage down through the announce table. He's history. And the, the, they're bringing a gurney down. And that, this, this is bad. Fink's here to make some sort of announcement, one would assume. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout. No, it looks like the rattlesnake wants to have a few words. Well, Finkel makes his announcement while Mr. McMahon is being attended to. He's hurt badly, Mr. McMahon. When I came here, I said I made a few guarantees going into this match, which haven't happened yet. As far as I'm concerned, the match never really started because when the, the bell never rang and we was never in the ring at the same time, so eh, eh, he ain't gonna lose that easy. Now, jackass, jackass, that's you in the black. Is the son of a bitch still breathing? Well, since he is still breathing, if you want me to finish, this can of whoop ass, give me a hell yeah. Well, that is the bottom line. <laughs> Trying to get uh, the chairman of WWE to, to safety and to, and to get him some medical help. 
But Austin again coming down from the cage. Wait a minute, Jerry. What's, what's Steve Austin? Come on. Stone Cold, I think Mr. McMahon has had enough. Austin with those evil blue eyes. That's got evil intentions oh, as well. Hold it, wait a minute. You can't do this, not to Mr. McMahon. Oh, look out! Oh my God! Oh! What a ride for McMahon, but an even worse landing. McMahon's head flat right off the uh, ring, the steel cage. Face and cage, cage wins. Not more, no! Oh my goodness. All this bent up animosity, this rage coming out of Stone Cold Steve Austin. How much more can the chairman of WWE take? We know he's tough, but how how tough can any human being be with this kind of treatment? I think the rattlesnake wants to finish Mr. McMahon off once and for all. Now back into the cage again. It took long enough this match to get started, and Austin wants to end it inside the squared circle. Austin. Uh-oh, uh, JR. Don't turn around, Mr. McMahon. You won't like the view. Ah! Hard clothesline. Oh, listen to this. Oh, my goodness. The impact. This crowd going crazy for Stone Cold Steve Austin, who wants to go to WrestleMania. But first, he wants to demolish totally, physically, emotionally, oh, oh. Mr. McMahon. And you're right, JR. Over 19,000 people in unison cheering for Stone Cold Steve Austin. They want him to finish off McMahon completely. Austin is enjoying this. He's enjoying his handiwork. And here he goes. Austin can set both feet on the floor. He wins this match. And look at Mr. McMahon, oh, driven by goodness. unadulterated hatred. He's flipping off the rattlesnake. Now Not what, a wise move. What other chairman of a major publicly traded company would do this? Wait, Austin going back inside the cage? Oh my gosh, Austin relentless in his punishment of poor Mr. McMahon. Austin is beating McMahon like a government mule. But McMahon is proving that he's $2 steak tough because he's got his ass whipped big time by Stone Cold Steve Austin in this steel cage match. Oh no, but JR, when is enough enough? He's going to destroy poor Mr. McMahon. Wow. And now talking smack as well. When it comes to these two, their rivalry, they completely detest each other. Now Austin is going to escape the cage and win the match. Finally, mercifully, it will be over. Mr. McMahon won't have to absorb any more punishment. Hey, look at McMahon. What? I cannot believe the double middle fingers. And Austin, Austin's not going to stand for it. Let's face it, Vince hates Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, no. Austin's coming back to punish Mr. McMahon some more. Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin has waited for this day, JR. And it's finally here. He's going to finish off Mr. McMahon. Here comes the star. Stunner. 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 And an earful from Austin to, to Mr. McMahon. My, my gun team. What? Out of the, 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 the ring, through the ring is Paul White. Paul White? This is a massive human being. Right. He's a giant. His appendix scar is four feet long. Look at this guy. He's colossal. Look at the size feet of this man. Oh, oh my gosh. Stone Cold Steve Austin has bitten off more than he can chew now. And there's no disqualification inside the cage. McMahon has out-strategized Stone Cold Steve Austin by literally hiding Paul White underneath the ring. McMahon wants White, this giant, to break Austin into pieces to make sure Austin doesn't go to WrestleMania. Oh, and he throws, the, look at this! Oh my God, the cage broke. Austin, oh man! Both feet touch the floor. Austin wins. Stone Cold's going to WrestleMania. No plan. Wait a minute. Oh my God. Paul White is here. You knew the boss had to have something up his sleeve. Too big. Yeah, it's got to be over seven feet tall. Austin into the cage. The cage gave way. To fail. Austin's down. Austin's down the cage. I can't believe it. Stone Cold will meet the rock at WrestleMania. But there is always a plan B. You see, I have this all figured out. 
goal to weaken the rattlesnake. Six days for WrestleMania. Austin has to take on the big show. Physically and psychologically. Allow me to introduce the most electrifying champion ever. There ain't no way the Stone Cold will ever beat the Rock. But cornering a rattlesnake. The Stone Cold Steve Austin has been shirked around long enough. Has consequences. You are looking at the next champion and that's the bottom line for Stone Cold stage in live entertainment a final show of power i'm gonna be the guest referee reaches its limit it's the commissioner what john michaels there is only one man who can appoint an official at wrestlemania and that one man is the high great kid so hit the bricks big man and the corporation is barred from ringside. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? Finally happened, JR. The Stone Cold Stunner matching up against the rock bottom. Every time they go one on one, we see an amazing confrontation. We expect nothing less here tonight. They bring out the best and the worst in each other because. Once this thing gets going, these two will do absolutely anything and everything to win, to destroy each other. Look at Stone Cold. Crowd loves Stone Cold Steve Austin, without, without a doubt. And there's a lot of respect The Rock already talking trash. The Rock learned to talk that trash at the U when he played football at the University of Miami. He is a trash talker. <laughs> oh, look at this. Stone Cold's no slouch when it comes to talking trash himself. Now The Rock blocking Stone Cold. The path, and here the fight is on, JR. It didn't take long for it to erupt, to explode, ah! as The Rock elevates Austin over the top. Oh, this is gonna be a battle for the ages here. Hey, Austin. Hey, they're a little close here. Already on the outside, referee trying to give both men for this amazing rivalry that exists between them back in the ring. You gotta be in the ring to win the match. The Rock taking the early advantage here. Big right hand has floored Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Rock is ragdolling Austin. He's beating him up, and he's beating him up convincingly. Oh, blocked, and now here comes that rattlesnake. Austin says, I'm no government mule. You're not going to beat me to death. Look like a thumb to the eye there, JR. No doubt, King. Good call. Thumb to the eye. Temporarily blocking Whoa. Austin. And look at Austin sidestepping The Rock, and The Rock over the top rope. Austin likes his handiwork. 
Oh, look at this. Oh, watch out. Head first into those steps, and Stone Cold Steve Austin is reeling, JR. Reeling indeed, and the, uh, the Rock now. Oh, wait, he's going to have to take a little water break, I believe. Oh, The Rock got refreshing himself. Hydrating. Oh! Uh, this fit the, he spit right at Austin's face. How insulting. Man, these two guys, what a rivalry. Has there ever, oh, been, a, has there ever been a rivalry more intense than Stone Cold and the Great One? I'll tell you one thing, the Rock, oh. the Rock may have just raised the ire of the rattlesnake a little further than he wanted to. Spitting into the rattlesnake's face, that's something you don't do. Rock on the Spanish announce table. Austin Luego. And I'm not sure what that means, but it could be adios for The Rock. And Austin, oh! boom, connects. High impact that takes both men to the floor. What these two won't do to each other. It is absolutely insanity out here. I know one thing, I wish they'd get back into the ring. Little too close for comfort out here. Uh-oh. That's Austin. Be careful. Don't climb up on those chairs. They're not stable. Oh, whoa. Look out. Austin from the security wall thinks he's a flying Melinda and drove that pointed elbow right into the sternum of the great one. Be careful, JR. Hey, that's, hey, that's my beverage. And it's not oh, out. Oh, and now. Oh, returning the favor yes, is he Austin. Does. You spit in my face, I spit in yours. And now, finally, Austin throwing the rock back in the ring. Oh, it looked like Stone Cold Steve Austin opening up a can on the rock right now, but wait, there's a reversal. The rock reverses his right, and, and oh, rock, oh, Samoan drop. The rock with a Samoan drop going That's for the cover. Can he get three? No. Oh, he got two. A near fall, Austin barely, just barely able to kick out from that dynamic Samoan drop. And look at The Rock, he thought he had this thing won there, JR. Now rock bottom! Rock bottom, rock bottom! A rock bottom by The Rock, the great one. Scores with, it, with his best. Ah! On the referee, that don't count. Austin with a stunner, that should be it, but the referee's incapacitated. There's another referee, and Rock kicks out. My God, what action. This is unbelievable. The Rock thought he had it won with the Samoan drop. The referee counted too slow in Rock's opinion. Got himself rock bottom. Now we have another referee. No, no. Oh, my God. Not him. You're kidding me. Anybody but him, Mr. McMahon. Mr. McMahon, the chairman of Watch WWE. Watch Don't go in the chair. Oh. Low blow from The Rock at the last minute. This is absolutely chaotic. We got people getting knocked down. Referees knocked down. Rock and Austin beating each other up. Look at this now, JR. Vince McMahon putting the boots to Stone Cold. Hey, who's this? Well, hell, it's mankind, Jerry. What the heck? What's he doing oh. here? I know one thing. He just knocked Vince McMahon out of the ring. My God, it's chaotic. Now, Rock. Rock reading uh, the right act. Hey, 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 look at this. Austin, the roll-up, and mankind thinks he's the referee. Look at the rattlesnake here, JR. Oh, wait a minute. Austin set too early, and the Rock now scores the cold time. The great one is back in control of this great rivalry. Rock. Oh, no. Austin. <laughs> rock bottom. Rock bottom. Man, what impact. This could be it, JR. Rock should cover him right here, but. Sound like a car crash in there. Oh, no, wait a minute. The Rock is not through yet. I think it's just about time for the most electrifying move in all of sports entertainment. The Rock gets rid of that, that elbow pan. This one's for you and you, Stone Cold. The Rock with the momentum. Here he comes. Oh, it's the people's elbow. Oh, no, Rock missed, JR. McMahon can't believe it. Poor McMahon. And look at Rock now. Page out of Austin's book. Oh, boy, here we go. Rock going for a rock bottom, but Austin will have none of it. Oh! Austin those elbows back to the temple. Two slow time. And it's over. Austin got the two slow. Kane hits the big move. Steve Austin. This is going to go down as the blackest day in the history of World Wrestling Entertainment. You reap what you sow. The Rattlesnake climbed the mountain. The Rattlesnake overcame all the odds. Sometimes winning. Stone Cold Steve Austin is the champion again!
isn't enough. I looked at that belt and said, hey, hey, that damn thing just ain't gonna cut it. As a champion looks to reclaim what's rightfully his. You don't have it anymore. It's mine. Bring that damn belt back because that's the one that I want. A father puts his family first. Right now, my priority is simply my daughter's welfare. Take this championship belt and give it to Austin. But his son is all business. Where is the Vince McMahon that we all know? Hey, Austin, if you want your precious Stone Cold Championship belt, it is around the waist of the Rock. You want the piece of trash? You come get the piece of trash. Go to hell. Oh. Austin, you want your belt? You take it to hell with it. Celebrate the loss of the biggest piece of monkey crap that has ever graced God's green earth. Wait a minute. That's a smoky skull bell. I thought he threw it in the ring. Oh, I never did. The Rock is going to bury this piece of trash and let it rot. A shocking resurrection. Hey, wait, wait. There's Austin. My God, it's a monster truck. Is that the Rock's car? Uh, yes, sir. Reunites a champion. That belt is coming back for Stone Cold Steve Austin, and that's the bottom line. Cause Stone Cold sucks out. Austin up the rock. Six feet deep. With glory. He has reclaimed the swooping skull belt. But only for a moment. By God, Shane McMahon with that shallow right down the back of Austin's head. Can Stone Cold Steve Austin regain what was once his? And that flag, anything goes. The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, no holds barred rules. The special guest referee will be none other than me. May the best man win. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest, scheduled for one fall, is a new whole sport match for the WWE Championship. Introducing first, the special referee. He is the acting chairman of WWE, Shane McMahon. No holds barred, thanks to the referee, Shane McMahon. We heard that earlier tonight on Heat. He's got his nose in the air tonight, huh? Look at that. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? The rock says, the rock says, the rock says, the rock says. Introducing the challenger, representing the corporation from Miami, Florida, weighing 275 pounds, the rock. Wearing the title, and that title does not belong to The Rock. That's Stone Cold's personal property. That's the smoking skull bill. Well, right now it's on the shoulder of the most electrifying man in sports entertainment today, The Rock. The Rock says, 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 No, you're damn wrong. Look at this, JR. The championship being held high. You hear me? We put this in my, wait till he gets the ring, then put this in my office. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. What do you got against Shane McMahon? Well, he's, he's his father's son. And these 
two guys every time they go. Look at Austin. Yeah. A little slot of hand. And it didn't take long. Here we go. The fight is on. The fight is indeed on. It looks like a barroom brawl here. <laughs> Austin and The Rock and Shane McMahon. Be careful, Shane. Being, nope. being assigned by his daddy to be the referee in this matchup. I think Shane will referee this thing right down the middle, but so far that distraction has cost Stone Cold Steve Austin the upper hand in this match. And Rock, 6'5", 270, with dynamic right hands. Whoa. Austin misses the reverse elbow. Lufez press. Oh. Austin with the advantage. Look at those piston-like right hands. All of them finding their mark right to the face of the great one. And the Stone Cold Steve Austin talking smack while he's beating up the Rock. No, look at this. Stone Cold Steve Austin has got the rock down, JR. Austin trying to stomp that mud hole in the rock. And Shane McMahon, special referee, admonishing Austin. Oh, be careful, Shane. Shane almost taunting the Austin to, to strike the referee, which would end the match. Hello, oh, the rock trying to sneak attack Austin. Austin sidesteps. And now Austin on the apron. Don't do it, Austin. Don't jump. Oh, man. Austin scores for that. Clothesline from the apron. Rock in big trouble now as uh, Austin. Whoa, looks like the announce table's in big trouble as well. Austin visiting the Spanish announce table. Stay away from ours, please. The Rock now on the, the table of our amigos. Oh, look at that elbow blow. And I bet you Austin's not wearing a cup. Ah, roll rock bottom through the table. A rock bottom through the table, and that may have done it. That may be it for Stone Cold Steve Austin. There's a big smile on the face of Shane McMahon. He loved it. What a regal move by, by, by the rock. Wait a minute. Stone Cold rock bottom through the table. The rock hates you. You are a living, human, breathing piece of trash. And the Rock is having his way with Stone Cold, and Shane loves it. Whoa, another hard right hand. Oh, what a battle we got here, JR. Look out! Stone Cold head first right into our announce table. And now, watch out! You hear Austin's skull cracking off our announce table. There's no doubt that Austin is in a bad, bad way, obviously. The Rock with that mean streak. Austin now on our table. Look out, King. I know, and Shane saying, come on, Rock, get it back in the ring. But I don't think he needs it. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Wait. Come on, give it a camera. Now Rock thinks he's a cameraman. Yeah, this is the Rock cam. What do you think of that? Stone Cold Steve Austin, the biggest piece of trailer park trash walking. Stone Cold, you go directly to hell, and you take that with you. Compliment of the Rock. From a million, a million dollar Rock fan. Watch it now. Watch it. Oh, God. Surprise. Stunner. Oh. Right on the table. A stunner. Take two. Cut. Well, look at this. This battle continues. Uh, Austin imploring the Rock to get to his feet. You know what Austin's looking for here? You damn right. A stunner. Austin looking oh. for a stunner downstairs. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh. Shane McMahon just got wiped out. Oh no, poor Shane. The trust fund baby oh. went down and so did Austin with a rock bottom. The rock bottom. And, oh look at Shane. Helping the rock. Come on. He's as crooked as his daddy. It was almost a three, but somehow Austin kicked out at the last minute. Shane. Shane a little dizzy here. I don't know if he knows what he's doing. Oh, he knows what he's doing. Shane knows what he's doing. Shane McMahon looking for an unfair advantage to help The Rock. There's he's no doubt. He's got that championship. Look out. Oh, no. I cannot believe what we're seeing. What kind of officiating is this? Well, look at this. Austin for the pin, but wait a minute. Shane won't count the three. This officiating is atrocious. Hey, there's Vincent. Right over there, there's Daddy. Oh my God! What? McMahon hit his only begotten son, Shane O'Mac. Shane O'Mac got woodshedded. Oh! And, and this is this is absolute insanity. 
Oh, yeah. he'll cover. Oh, I can't believe it. The winner and still WWE Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. What is Vince thinking here? Vince McMahon presented Austin with a smoking skull belt. He tossed the belt to Austin. Vince McMahon returned Austin's property back. Oh, hell yeah. Stone Cold Steve Austin retains the WWE title. Stone Cold's reign as WWE Champion came to a tragic end, and Mr. McMahon's hatred for the Texas Rattlesnake finally reached its boiling point, leaving the boss to search outside of his realm for a suitable ally. I present the higher power. Who could it be? It's me, Austin! Oh, son of a... It was me all along, Austin! You all bought it! Even my immediate family bought it! But what Mr. McMahon forgot was that behind every strong man was an even stronger woman. Dad, Shane, how could you be so cruel? We really weren't trying to hurt you, Stephanie. You see, it's just business. And with the maniacal Mr. McMahon in power, the WWE Board of Directors found that they needed to do business as well, starting with a new CEO. At our next pay-per-view event, which is King of the Ring, it will be me in one corner, and Vince, it'll be you and that little son of yours in the other corner. We take this CEO title of yours. You hang it up the ring, and the only way to reach up and grab it all, Austin, is by climbing a ladder. The ladder men for all the marbles. It's winner take off. Ladies and gentlemen, now entering the ring for tonight's winner take all winner match from Victoria, Texas, weighing 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. The most phenomenal roar I've ever heard in this arena is for the Rattlesnake. Good God Almighty, they're on their feet. 20,108, and you're damn right it's personal. My God, can you imagine if tomorrow this guy has control of the WWE? The only thing worse than Stone Cold as champion is Stone Cold as CEO. Oh, this is a very dangerous situation, JR. Look out! Stone Cold Steve Austin ladder match against both the McMahons, Vince and Shane, Mr. McMahon, oh. and his son, Satan, and Satan Jr. This is not right, JR. Mr. McMahon's an executive. He's not made to be put through this, tor this sort of torture. Oh! He is a, a demonic human being in my estimation, and Austin knows that. Austin knows his back is against the wall. The tables could turn at any time. And so could the ladders. Yeah, horse home ah. depot when you need it. Clean up on aisle seven. There's some teeth on the floor, I think. And I'm afraid if Mr. McMahon's not careful, there's gonna be a spill. No, this is enough, Stone Cold. Oh! Again, it's Shane McMahon being bounced around like a, a rubber ball to anything that's not nailed down. Jerry, you gotta look at the look on Stone Cold's face. I think he's actually enjoying this abuse that he's dishing out to the McMahons. Austin loves a great fight. And we know the rivalry between Austin and the McMahon. This is not a fight, it's a total beatdown with weapons, with ladders. This is not fair. Oh my. Oh, look at this, JR. Stone Cold up that ladder. If he gets there, this thing's over. If he can reach that briefcase. Whoa, 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 whoa! Austin trying to retrieve the briefcase. Put the McMahons out of business as far as Shane and, and Mr. McMahon are concerned. 
It is a two-on-one handicap match. Anything goes. And look at this. Wait a minute. Use the ladder. What's wrong with you guys? Oh, that's not going to work. That's not exactly uh, astute ingenuity. What's next for these morons? These, these are supposed to be business geniuses. And now look at this. Well, they're in dire straits. They're in an emotional situation. All they need is a couple of pairs of big shoes. They'd like to two clowns in there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Austin's up. This is not going to be good. Somebody's going down. Uh, Somebody's going down. Bam! Oh. Mr. McMahon and his son Shane knocked down Austin with, a, with an opportunity now. Oh! And stunner! Oh, man! The stunner! And then another stunner oh. on Shane O'Mac. Okay. The rattlesnake has a clear path to victory now. Austin sets the ladder. Make sure it's sturdy. All Austin has to do now is get up that ladder. He did this, JR. Stone Cold is climbing the ladder. Wait a minute. The, the, the briefcase is ascending, as is Austin. Austin's no physical way to reach the briefcase. What's going on here? I have no idea, but that briefcase is going up down like a yo-yo. You gotta be kidding me. There is collusion here. Austin knows something is screwy. I don't think that's the guy in charge of that. We certainly don't have anything to do with it. Vincent Man! Vincent Man going to the top! He's the, reaching for the briefcase! And the briefcase is lowering! Uh-oh, now and Stone Cold! Oh. Austin up on the on the ladder, the briefcase is, is rising a little bit. We get out of Austin's reach. Shane O'Mac kicked back down. Oh, Austin going for it, but now Vince is hammering away at Austin. And look at Shane! Look at Shane! Shane pushing the ladder. Ah! And both his daddy and the rattlesnake go down. Shane McMahon has an opportunity. Can he seize the moment? Can Shane McMahon seize the moment? He's got the McMahon family. He's got that ladder set up. Shane climbing to the top of the ladder. And look at the briefcase. It's lowering down what into the, his grass. Where the hell's Houdini? <laughs> David Copperfield. Shane's got it. And the McMahons have retrieved the briefcase. They have won the ladder match. Here are your winners, Shane McMahon and Mr. McMahon. And there's no doubt in my mind that Austin's life will now become even more of a living hell. celebration. This has been promised to me, a night to remember forever by Mr. McMahon.
and the challenger from Victoria, Texas, weighing 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Will it indeed be a night that we will never, ever forget? Austin's not lost any of his heart. Oh, yes, he has. Opening up a can of whoop ass on The Undertaker. Look out! Austin. Oh! Boy, double clothesline. Stakes couldn't be higher. Austin must win the WWE title, or the McMahons have decreed that Austin will never, ever get another opportunity to compete for that championship Whoa, again. Oh, look at this! The Undertaker rising from the dead. It is a must win situation for Austin. And look at that insidious Paul Bearer on the outside, urging his son, The Undertaker, on here. And Austin's got a win against the most oh. intimidating oh. athlete in the history of WWE. The man that's never lost at WrestleMania, The Undertaker. Undertaker with a reversal. Oh no, Tombstone coming. Look at this, wait a minute, reversal. Austin counter to Tombstone and hits a stunner on The Undertaker. Austin's got the match won. This is over. Two count. Oh. Hey. oh, that bulbous Paul Bear, that big rotund evil demon to pull the referee outside. Oh, out. Whoa! There you go, Stone Cold knocking Paul Bear down like a ton of cake. The donuts went flying from Paul Bear's attire. Snake! Oh no, this is awful. The winner and the new WWE Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. This is a tragedy. It's a travesty. JR, this is just awful. Stone Cold is the WWE Champion. Start your celebrating, folks. This is a night that we're never going to forget, ever. The leg is up. Yeah, yeah. The rattlesnake. The rattlesnake. Yes, it's a night we're never, ever going to forget. Austin, the champion. And look out. I tasted the blood of Austin. Austin is bleeding. And I liked it. That fully loaded Austin. I want a first blood match. I do accept that fully loaded. I will say to you, paybacks are a bitch. I've got something to say about that. This one way or another will be the end of an era. Austin, when The Undertaker defeats you, you will never again in your professional career ever even attempt to become champion again. If you are somehow victorious, neither you nor either any of these people will ever see Vince McMahon again. If you don't want to see Vince McMahon no more, give me a hell yeah. I won't accept your word for it. I want it in writing. And look at ah, The Undertaker with a horrendous cheap shot on the champion, Austin Austin. Don't tell me The Undertaker is filling that gin with Austin's own blood. Undertaker, you want my blood? You son of a bitch, I want a piece of your ass. Somebody's got to go and go for good. The hell with business with Austin. It's personal. Somebody's gonna flee. Somebody's gonna leave. It won't be the end of an era. It'll just be the end of you. And that's the bottom line. The Stone Cold said so.
for the WWE Championship. Introducing first, the challenger, representing the corporate ministry, weighing 328 pounds, the Undertaker. Undertaker lost his last match and the Smoking Skull belt to Austin at the first fully loaded event, but got in some late licks after the belt. Bad blood here to be sure. Well, Undertaker's gonna put that rattlesnake six feet under. Mark my words, JR. last time out. Well, he's a disgrace if you ask me. He can't be a champion. He's a fierce-willing, contract-cooking, middle-finger-flipping animal who has no place wearing that title. Oh, what a battle we have here, JR. Undertaker sent for the red wall. Two of the all-time greats. No, and look out. Look out here is right. What the hell is the Undertaker doing? Abusing the official. Oh. Whoa, he tripped oh. over the referee. That comes back to haunt the Undertaker. Undertaker tied up to the ropes now with nowhere to go. Oh boy. He's at Austin's mercy. What's Austin gonna do? That rattlesnake's about to strike. Undertaker's in big, wait, wait a minute. He has the Undertaker tied up at his mercy, as you said, but. Mr. McMahon doesn't have a very Peaceful, easy feeling. Oh, look on his face, I'll tell you that. Hey, 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 here comes Shane McMahon. Oh, bam! Steel chair to the head, and hey, that hurt Mr. McMahon. That's a four-bagger. The clean the bases in Austin. And now he's kicking Shane McMahon out to daddy. Wow. Now Stone Cold can turn his attention once again. Back to a helpless undertaker. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, look at this, JR. It's a stunner on The Undertaker. Oh, man. But remember, it's a first oh. blood match. Look out. Watch it. Mr. McMahon's waving that crutch around. Mr. McMahon, be careful. You're crippled. You think he's really hurt? Oh, don't hit a crippled. Oh, right hand. Well, he's got a handicap stripper for his car. Well, he needs all the best parking places. He'll be parked close. And Austin back in the ring with that steel chair. Wait a minute. Oh. Undertaker beating Austin to the punch. Hard shot to the spine. Hit him in the head. Hit him in the head. Uh-oh. Watch it. Undertaker manhandling the referee. Intimidation. Somebody's got to bleed. Somebody's got to bleed here. Whoa. And Austin driving the... Wait a minute. That's, that's X-Pac. X-Pac? What the hell is he doing here? <laughs> X-Pac enters the ring. Kicks that chair right out of the hand of the Undertaker. Now look out. Austin. TV camera. Austin the... Commandeers the TV camera, hits the Undertaker right between the eyes. Undertaker's got to be bleeding, and he is. Look at that, you're right, a crimson mask. The Undertaker bleeding, the clearing is blowing, and Austin hammers away. When the referee sees this, he's going to stop the match, the Undertaker. Austin. 
Mr. McMahon trying to come in and get a, a stutter for his trouble. We'll see you later, Mr. Chairman. After a grueling match, Austin stood victorious. Triple H and The Rock crashed the party, but Stone Cold was able to fight off The Undertaker and walk out WWE Champion. Austin held on to the championship until SummerSlam, where he lost it to Mankind in a triple threat match. However, the very next night on Raw, Triple H would reign supreme. With Survivor Series approaching, Stone Cold was pitted in a triple threat match against Triple H and The Rock for the WWE Championship. Come here, you little bastard! But before the event could even get started, disaster struck. The God Almighty! For God's sakes! A car just ran over Austin! The car incident left Stone Cold with severe neck damage. And after undergoing surgery, he was out of action for over nine months. In his absence, Triple H and The Rock dominated the WWE Championship picture, while Austin was left with questions as to who was behind the vicious attacks. I will get my payback, and when I find the bastard that did this, I will take it out on your ass, and that's the bottom line, cause Stone Cold sits up. While Austin questioned other WWE superstars in search for answers, the truth finally came out. I did it. What? I did it for The Rock. I ran over Stone Cold Steve Austin. And to tell the truth, I do it again. Austin, this Sunday, no mercy. During the no-holds-barred affair, Austin attempted to pay back Rikishi for his dastardly deeds. Rikishi's gonna be broken! But the police intervened. Stone Cold would have to wait until the 2001 Royal Rumble to get his hands on Rikishi again. And with action at a fever pitch inside the ring, Austin's number was drawn. Here comes the rattlesnake! He's here! With Austin in the game in a heated battle, the rumble raged on. Oh, look at this. JR, this is chaotic. I love a Royal Rumble. Man, it's crazy here in New Orleans tonight. Look at the rock go. Man, this guy spit out his gumbo. Oh, man. The action is fast and furious, and oh, no. Here comes Rikishi. How did you get him over the top rope? Those huge sesame seed buns of his. Look at Austin, hammering away at Rikishi, the man with the biggest buttocks in the business. Austin hitting anything that moves. I don't blame him. Here in the Royal Rumble. The Billy Gunn that just went down. Austin getting involved in Triple H's oh. title match earlier tonight oh. here in the Crescent City. It's all on the line. The winner of the Royal Rumble goes to WrestleMania to meet the champion. Austin wants it badly. And he's proven it by hitting anybody and everybody in sight. Look out! There he goes! No friends, oh. only enemies. Oh, look at this. The rattlesnake with the rock up in the air, but can he get him over that top rope? He's got him! Look out! Oh, wait a minute. The rock with a rake of the eyes of Stone Cold Steve Austin. We are down to nut cut time. The final three here in the Royal Rumble. Woo. Who's going to go to WrestleMania? And now the rock. Oh, 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 wait a minute! Over and out. Kane trying to push both The Rock and Austin out. Rock's eliminated. Austin is not. We're down to the final two. Kane and the rattlesnake. And the rattlesnake really opened it up here on the big red monster. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, no. Man, it, who's going to WrestleMania? Oh, chunk that, slam. It looks from like it's going to be Kane going to WrestleMania. Austin just got choke slammed right out of his Texas boots. He's bloody, he's battered, but JR, he's going to WrestleMania.
Bishop, the toughest son of a gun in the WWE. He's fought his way back after spinal surgery, and he's going to WrestleMania. By eliminating Kane, Stone Cold would capture his third Royal Rumble victory. Stone Cold Steve Austin will be in the main event at WrestleMania. Oh, hell yeah! Earlier, however, Austin discovered that the gruesome car attack that put him out of action for nine months was orchestrated by Triple H. You never saw it coming! It was the game! With tensions boiling over, the Rattlesnake would face the game at No Way Out in a three stages of hell match with one condition. If Triple H and Stone Cold have any physical altercation, Austin's out of WrestleMania. Bye-bye to the title shot. And Triple H is gone for six months. The mind games would soon begin. Since I can't touch your little mealy mouth husband, oh Stone Cold Steve Austin thought he'd come out here and give you a little present right from the bottom of my heart. Oh my God! gonna make me lose my control it's not gonna make me get suspended for six months but it is gonna make me have an answer wait a minute hey, not the pedigree of the will be inside a solid steel cage. Oh, look at this. What a shot there. 
Oh, man, Triple H in trouble. Man, how long has it been since we've seen such an intense two out of three fall match? A wrestling match in fall one. A street fight in fall two. A stunner. And if, if, if necessary, a cage in fall three. Austin with a stunner, the cover, and Stone Cold Steve Austin jumps out to the early advantage, physically and psychologically. The first fall, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, that may be a huge spirit breaker for Triple H. Austin reminding at the game that I am the man. I am up one fall to none. Well, look at this. <laughs> Take a little rest out there. Go outside the ring for a little R&R. &R. Oh, look at this. Stone Cold Steve Austin stomping at the very heart of Triple H. Austin up one fall to none in this two out of three fall match. Austin wins this fall. It is all over. But Triple H is going to have something to say about that. The sledgehammer. Oh, no. Legal. Sledgehammer. Oh. Man, Austin saved himself there. That sledgehammer is a lethal weapon, no doubt about it, from the cerebral assassin. Austin looking stunner. for a stunner. No. Oh, no. Joe. Gosh almighty. Good Lord. A slobber knocker of a shot between the eyes of the rattlesnake. Austin is addled. I'm not sure Austin even knows where he is. I don't know how Austin is even able to move, but he was going after that chair, but oh no. This should do it. The opportunistic Triple H. Oh! The pedigree driving Austin's face, his head into the canvas after the sledgehammer shot. That's it, that's it. There's the three count. The leg is hooked, the three count goes down. We are even at one fall the apiece. of the second fall, evening this match at one fall apiece. Triple H. Oh my God. The cage coming down to surround the ring. The cage is what will be the playground for the third and deciding fall. The third and deciding fall in a steel cage match. And this may do a pedigree, but no! Look at Stone Cold Steve Austin reversing it. No! Sending Triple H's face first into the steel. Whoever wins this fall wins the match. It has been a such an evenly fought oh, match. Austin with a stunner. Austin with a stunner. Both men, the fatigue setting in. Their bodies have been ravaged in this three-fall match. Here's the cover! The far leg hooks in a near fall somehow, some way. The game willed his way out of that pitting predicament. Boy, you're right, JR. This match has been grueling. It has been brutal. Uh oh, oh the, the sledgehammer. Sledgehammer legal. And oh, no. For the second time in this match, the sledgehammer finds its way home to Austin's face. Is it? Yes, it's over. As the great Lance Russell would say, I don't know that these two men will ever be the same again. You're right, Triple H not even able to get to his feet to enjoy this victory. These men are spent. There's no celebrating in game town after this ordeal. The sledgehammer did the trick. The fact is, Rock, you got title and I want it. Here it comes, Rock Bottom! Rock Bottom to Angle! Look at Austin! Look at Austin! Stop Bam! it! Butter! How will the Rock retaliate? There could be hell to pay for Austin! Now Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock isn't waiting until WrestleMania. Your bald-headed, double-studded candy ass belongs to The Rock! Can you imagine what it's going to be like WrestleMania? You know what? You got that little T-shirt that says just bring it on the front of it. Well, that night when you're looking up at the lights and that little T-shirt says just bring it, you will know that Stone Cold just brought up it. Well, I say just bring it. You say I just whipped your ass. So on April 1st, why don't you just come try and whip the Rock's ass? I will give you every drop of sweat every drop of blood, every ounce of energy I have, you are gonna get the absolute best of The Rock at WrestleMania. I need to beat you, Rock. 
I need it more than anything that you could ever imagine. There can be only one champion, and that will be Rock Stone Cold Steve Austin. With all due respect. With all due respect. With all due respect. With all due respect. The following contest, scheduled for one fall, is for the WWE Championship. In this cup, there will be no disqualification. Introducing first, the challenger from Victoria, Texas, weighing 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. The tyranny has culminated here tonight from spinal surgery, from knee injury. The Texas Rattlesnake could become the Violet Redneck because we're deep in the heart of Texas. And Stone Cold Steve Austin is going to challenge to become the top man in the industry. It's cooking. From Miami, Florida, weighing 275 pounds, WWE Champion, The Rock! All this in front of a partisan Texas crowd. Austin is revered. He is a folk hero. Austin has reached legendary status in his home state of Texas. Would you please leave that alone? We're talking about The Rock now. You remember him, don't you? He's the WWE Champion, and he's about to lay a beat down on your so-called Texas legend. for Stone Cold now, JR. It won't be good, whatever it is, and to step in, Wait could a be minute. a sharpshooter. What? The Rock with a little insult to injury, but now look at Stone Cold, JR. A rattlesnake counter, a rake of the eyes. <laughs> and Works every time. Has, can Austin get back in it? Oh, the takedown, and now Austin steps in. Austin with a sharpshooter. This butt's for you, Rock. Steve. Oh, look at this, JR. The Rock, oh! The Rock with a stunner I on, can't Stone, believe it. on Stone Cold Steve Austin. I can't believe it. Rock's going to beat Austin with a stunner. He's, oh, no, he's not. No, he is not. But, oh, my God. Look, <laughs> look who's coming to ringside. It's Vince side. McMahon. He may be here to save the day, JR. Why do you not like Vince McMahon? Mr. McMahon. Well, there's a million reasons. We don't have time to get into them now. We're here in Houston. Austin down hard. And The Rock. The spine buster. The spine on the pine. Uh oh, wait a minute, JR. By the great one, and guess what? We are about to see the most electrifying move in all of sports entertainment by The Rock. Are you ready for a little bit of the people's elbow? Here it is. Yes. The Rock with the elbow in the sternum. Austin, like a piece of steak laying in wait the ring. What the heck is. What the heck's going on? The Rock had this thing won. Mr. McMahon, what's, what's McMahon doing? I don't get this at all. And The Rock chasing McMahon. I, I'm confused. Wait a minute, look out. The Rock caught by Stone Cold Steve Austin with a rock bottom. Rock bottom, rock bottom. <laughs> and a near, oh my God, a near fall. How close was that? The hand was coming down for the three count. Oh, what a match this is, JR. Look at Stunner. No! The referee, wrong place, wrong time. Austin and Rock got to still settle this thing, but there's no ref. Rock gets up first. Oh, look at this now, JR. The Rock. Oh, oh low blow. Austin with a low blow, a blatant low blow. Good thing the ref wasn't in there. McMahon looking on. 
The Rock in trouble. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What is this? Austin communicating with McMahon. What the hell's going on here? Are you kidding me? This can't be. For God's sakes, this can't be. Stone Cold Steve Austin in collusion with Vince McMahon? Austin in collusion with Satan himself. Oh, look at this, chair. Oh, McMahon blasts the rock with that steel chair. Mr. McMahon is a vile human being. Or is he even a human being? I think he's Satan. Oh, now, look at this. Hey, McMahon. Satan. Hey, Satan. Get the referee. Yeah, that's what you got to do. Get the, get the referee, Satan. Here's the count. One. Rock is beat. Two. It's over. And it's over. You're right. Oh, oh, oh my God. The rock's got his right shoulder up. Oh, my gosh. Austin cannot believe this development. This match is going to continue. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Very well be it. So much on the line. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? It's a new champion. Why, Steve? Why this way? I'm supposed to let you people feed off of me. Someone tell me this is not happening. Sponge off of me like a bunch of parasites. I don't owe you no explanation. I don't owe you people a damn thing. Stone Cold Steve Austin has sold his soul. The Rock is demanding a rematch against Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, you get your championship match tonight in a steel cage. The Rock is trapped inside the cage with Stone Cold Steve Austin and Mr. McMahon. Undertaker to take on Austin and Triple H. So much on the line here uh, in the Rosemont Horizon. Yeah, well, it looks like Austin and Triple H were not too anxious to take on the Brothers of Destruction. Well, the WWE title, the Intercontinental title, and the tag titles are all up for grabs for the winner in this matchup. And here comes Triple H. And, nope, nope, nope. Triple H thought better of that. I never thought I'd see the day, quite frankly, that the game and Austin would be tag team partners. The Brothers of Destruction, different ball game. And that may give Kane and The Undertaker a decided advantage in this tag team match. Oh, I think you're exactly right there, JR. There's a shot on the far side of the ring. I don't know if I don't know if uh, Triple H and Stone Cold Steve Austin can coexist in this type match. I think they may be saying, hey, we've had enough. Austin just said, let's get out of here, Triple H. I, I can't believe Austin the game turned their back on these, oh, look at this. these two monsters. The Undertaker and Kane. Yeah, the Brothers of Destruction are not going to let Triple H and Austin escape. They're going to get this thing started oh. one way or the other. Oh, we're going to see a fight, all right. We're going to see one hell of a fight. Oh, look at this, JR. Stone Cold has Kane in big trouble. I think business is about to pick up, King. <laughs> to say the least. It's chaotic here. All these titles on the line. All this money at stake. WWE title, Intercontinental title. And there's a tag on Triple H. Tag team titles, oh. for God's sakes. Stephanie McMahon on the outside. A little concerned right now. Things are not going her way. I knew you'd notice her quickly. Well, now Kane out onto the floor. Kane's in big trouble. This has been a bowling shoe ugly match. 
Man, I'm telling you, I don't know if I taunt the Undertaker. Wait a minute. Oh, my goodness gracious. Steel chair right across the arm of the big red machine. He'll want to return through his hell fire oh, watch and it. brimstone. Watch it. Undertaker with the chair now. Oh, thank goodness. Referee got that chair away from the Undertaker. Referee asserting his authority here. It's a smart thing to try to keep some order as Austin is oh. strategizing. Kane, in a bad way, brings a tear to a glass eye. Oh, my gosh. JR, there's the tag. In comes Triple H. Kane's in big trouble now. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, Ian Zaguri takes out the referee and goes... And down goes Triple H as well. The tag to The Undertaker. The Undertaker is on fire. Oh my God. Big thunderous right hand. The dead man doing some damage now. Undertaker dominating oh. both Austin and Triple H. The two man power trip are oh. losing their power. The oh Undertaker my God. dominating. Look at this, JR. Undertaker, oh. up. everything is working for The Undertaker. Over the top rope, out onto the floor goes Austin, and now the game's going for the ride. Oh! The Undertaker's last ride. It may be over here. The referee. Wait a minute. The referee didn't see the tag. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? The referee did not see the tag. Can you believe that, ladies and gentlemen? Oh! And now Austin from behind. Stunner! Stunner on Kane! Undertaker did this to the Dustin, handing Triple H the championship. Oh no. What's the game gonna do with that? Be a leap of weapon. Yeah. Oh! And Triple H ate it. Uh oh. Choke slam. Big oh, no. oh, oh my no. god. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. That's Stephanie. This can't happen. And wait, there's Daddy. Mr. McMahon in the ring. Now the game with that hammer. The sledgehammer. They are, this is broken. Come on oh. down, Kane. Kane's in big trouble now. The sledgehammer shot. Mr. McMahon helping the ref back in the ring. At least to make a three count. Can he get three? There's two and three. While tensions rose among the two-man power trip. No! Triple H hit Austin in infernally! The reason we lost is because Triple H is extremely selfish. A bigger battle had consumed WWE. Daddy, can you really blame us for wanting to own WCW and ECW? The most serious threat we've ever known. Shane and I just couldn't wait for you to die. We'll wipe the Alliance off the face of this earth. But the Alliance would have more backup than Vince could have imagined. What the? Austin oh, just stunned Kurt Angle. Steve Austin joined forces with Shane and Stephanie McMahon. Stone Cold, your Alliance awaits you. It's about ending what Vince McMahon has tried to accomplish. This conflict would culminate at Survivor Series. What I'm proposing is one match that will determine which entity will finally survive. One match, winner take all. Stone Cold would lead the Alliance near victory with one last opponent in his way. Or so it seemed. Oh, Kurt Angle just, he just nailed Austin. The rock bottom. It's over. It's over! The Alliance dies at the Survivor Series! Because of Kurt Angle, the Alliance is dead. We need a champion with class. We need Kurt Angle as champion, as the sole owner. Allow me to... <gasps> what? There's a nature boy! What's he doing here? You know that when Shane and Stephanie sold their stock to that consortium. Wait a minute, don't kill me. The consortium was me, and now you and I were partners. Oh my God. Now y'all know we have two great world 
champions here. What if Stone Cold defends the title against Kurt Angle? The Rock defends the world championship against Y2J. And then on the same night, the winners of both matches face each other for the undisputed world championship. Four men, three matches, two titles, one undisputed champion at vengeance. Jericho and Austin were just one match away from making history. But before the match could even begin. Hey, look at this, Kurt Angle! Oh, Angle, the, Angle, the chair shot. Look at this, look at this! And the rock, the bottom of Jericho! My God! All this in the match hasn't even started! Uh, here we go, JR. Austin and Jericho. One on one, stakes are high, no doubt oh. about it. Oh, Jericho, head bouncing off the steel ring post. Oh no, look at Steve Austin, he's exposing that concrete floor. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Referee trying to reason with Austin, good luck with that. Austin oh. now, and Jericho fighting oh. back, and Jericho, the right hand, takes down the rattlesnake. Yeah, the rattlesnake landing on the concrete, hard. Oh no, watch out, now the announce table. Jericho knows desperate times call for desperate oh. measures, and Jericho placing Austin on the announce table. Well, JR, look out. This is going to be real bad. This is no man's land. Oh, Jericho about to suplex Stone Cold, but wait. Austin, hard shots to the ribs, countering Jericho. Austin with a hard right hand. There's a boot, but he's caught. Countered. Jericho. Walls of Jericho. Uh, oh, look at this. Jericho going for the walls of Jericho, but Austin's got, hey, look at this, JR. Austin's leg strength, and he counters. Jericho hits a concrete floor. Austin now back, may have the advantage, does have the advantage. But he's Austin, gotta, gotta get him back in the ring. Austin, thank you, suplex. Oh, look at the rattlesnake, Oh, Splat, that's what I heard. Oh, look at this, Austin sending Jericho in the ropes, whoa! Austin ducks and Jericho head first into the referee. Referee is wiped out here at Vengeance. The crowd here in San Diego, absolutely going livid. Austin knocks down Jericho. Good place for Jericho in this in this matchup. Uh -oh. On a low blow. Yeah, but there's no referee to see it. What is that, JR? Oh, it's a half-ass stunner by, by Jericho. Jericho at least take, took Austin down there. Uh -oh. Mr. McMahon. Calling in another referee. The first referee is down, and he wants somebody in there to count Austin's shoulders out. Oh, my gosh. No, that's not Ric Flair. What is Flair doing here? Flair's not got any, any business here. And now Vince sending Flair into the ring post. Oh, man, JR, this is really broken down. That steel ring post, very unforgiving. Oh! And now Austin returns the favor with a low blow on Jericho. Oh, don't ever mess with a rattlesnake. Mr. McMahon in harm's way, and Austin is stomping a mud hole in the chairman and walking it dry. Oh, JR, this action is fast and furious. Lay out. Well, King is for the undisputed title. Steve Austin, Stone Cold, Chris Jericho looking for a drop kick, and now Austin reverses into his oh, version he's got him. of the walls of Jericho, a modified Boston Crab applied by Austin. I think Jericho's gonna have to tap Jer out. Jericho just tapped. He's tapping like a drunk man. Where's the referee? No, no referee, wait a minute. Booker T. Booker T, what the oh. hell? Oh my God, Booker T with a drive-by, using the championship as a weapon, nailing Austin in the back of the head. Booker T doesn't even work here. What's he doing here? Look at this. Booker T should be arrested. Now Vince McMahon hobbling around over there, surveying the situation. He's gonna get the referee back in the ring. Austin looks to be unconscious. Is Jericho gonna win the undisputed title this way? Are you kidding me? There's a two. This cannot happen. This cannot happen. And no, no. Three. For God's sakes. I cannot believe this travesty.
look at McMahon. He's loving this. Oh, he's laughing like a pet coon. He's pet coon goofiest McMahon. He's, he's so happy. He's so happy Austin got screwed because Austin had this match won. Yeah, but JR, you got to know this Booker T showing up out of nowhere. That had to be a master plan of that man, Vince McMahon. It's all worked to perfection for him. Collusion, I say. Collusion. Jericho now a real made man. The first ever undisputed champion. After Booker T cost Stone Cold the undisputed championship at Vengeance, the Rattlesnake sought retribution, leading to some of the most unique battles in WWE history. Oh, Booker T! Oh, the scalded dog! Rattlesnake alert! Rattlesnake alert! Yeah. Oh, Austin beating the hell out of Booker T! This Rattlesnake has lost his mind, Michael! Price check on a jackass! <laughs> After nearly five years on top of the company, Stone Cold Steve Austin walked out of WWE in June of 2002. Stone Cold kept a low profile, not making any appearances on WWE programming for nearly a year. But the demand to see the rattlesnake back in a WWE ring led to his ultimate return in early 2003. Oh, I got a Stone Cold! The Hellraiser is back! Although the night was ceremonious, one familiar foe had other plans. Austin, do you remember the last two times you went one-on-one -on -one with the Great One? And if I remember correctly, I whipped your ass not once, but twice. The one thing that The Rock has not done is whoop that bald candy ass at WrestleMania. If you want to go for three times, is that what you're saying? Oh, this is showtime here. Austin trying to stun the rock and the rock. I'm tailing it out of the ring. You're scared, ain't you? I see it, and I can damn sure feel it. The rock at WrestleMania is going to whoop that candy ass. It'll be the rock. It'll be Austin one on one at WrestleMania. My God. was a superstar. His father, Rocky Johnson, a tag team champion. This champion using the WWE, the springboard to Hollywood stardom. But the one thing The Rock has never done, and I do believe it is eating him alive, and that is on the grandest stage of our business that The Rock has never, ever defeated Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, and you're right, JR. I'll have to agree with you. I think The Rock is obsessed with that now. It's his mission in life to beat the Rattlesnake at WrestleMania. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, WrestleMania 19. Oh, this should be a classic matchup. These two superstars know each other extremely well. It could come down to whoever makes the first mistake. The one thing about this is that The Rock knows coming in, he's 0-2 against Austin in WrestleMania main event. No other athletes in WWE history have ever headlined against each other three WrestleMania main events. Well, we're about to witness it right now. This is going to be classic. The Great One and the Rattlesnake. Once again, making history, this time in Seattle, Washington. A lot of speculation regarding 
of the help of Stone Cold Steve Austin. A lot hey, of wait a minute. Oh, they're, gonna, they're kicking it off. <laughs> they're going to fight. Look like Rock went for a cheap shot now. Stone Cold Steve Austin opening up that proverbial can of whoop ass. This match starting oh. out fast and furious as Austin uh, gives the referee a little sign language. And Austin will go for the stunner. Austin <laughs> quickly going for the stunner. And The Rock having to scoot outside and regroup. It got a little hot in the kitchen. Hey, wait a minute. Great one. We, we smell what Austin was cooking early. And he's going to come and do a little more second helping here. What a clothesline on the outside. Stone Cold sending Rock into the ropes. Uh-oh. Telegraph that move. And downstairs right to that patella. Austin's had a history of bad uh, knee issues. Troubles, surgeries with his knee. And the, and the Rock got that patella better known as a kneecap. Oh, no. Oh. And again, focusing on the knee is The Rock. Very strategic. He knows exactly, very precise in what he's doing. And now look at... Oh, boy. Oh, man. This could do it for Stone Cold. Shades of WrestleMania 13, the sharpshooter that Brett the Hitman Hart used on Stone Cold as Austin was bleeding profusely, finally passing out. Austin, luckily, gets to the bottom rope, but I, King, I think the damage has been done here. Oh, without a doubt, and I think The Rock realizes it as well. He's like a shark smelling blood in the water. Oh, he's gonna take his time and just torture Stone Cold now. Oh, not that leg, not that knee in the post. Oh! And all oh, The Rock threatening the official, but the damage, the story here is the ring post. Oh, no, on oh, the knee. Again, The Rock trying to exploit the injured knee of Austin. Too much uh, uh, speculation before the match started, and now The Rock is wearing Austin's vest, that smoking skull vest. That's just taunting. The That's Rock trying to electrify this huge crowd here. Whoa, wait a minute! Here I, comes the rattlesnake! I think instead of electrifying, that The Rock has just pissed off Austin. Ah. And Stone Cold, both men thinking alike. Oh, look at this. Austin Cindy Rock into the ropes, and Austin ducked. You can feel the intensity starting to mount here at WrestleMania 19. Oh, the great athletic nip up by The Rock, 6'5", 270. But guess what? The Austin is up. Oh, my God. Rock bottom by The Rattlesnake. A rock bottom by Stone Cold Steve Austin. How embarrassing would this be for The Rock to get beat with his own hole? The cover of the hook of the leg. Oh, oh, man, Rock barely able to kick out just before the three count from a rattle bottom. Ra <laughs> rattlesnake rock bottom. That rattlesnake move, it just electrified this huge crowd here at WrestleMania. And Austin imploring the rock to get up and fight. Let's finish this here and now. Austin wanted to go three and oh at WrestleMania against the great one. Stunner time, oh no. Rock catches Rock with a stunner. And oh my God, Rock with a stunner on Austin. First the rock bottom by Austin, and now the stunner by The Rock. What a matchup. Oh, look at this. Austin. Oh, Austin shoving the referee out of the way. Oh, my gosh, JR, did you see that? Not a good move by Austin. First, he could have gotten disqualified. Then he left himself wide open for that low blow. And The Rock has gained a decided advantage. Yeah, and he knows it. Look at The Rock. So proud of himself. The most electrifying man in sports entertainment. Still wearing that vest. Will he ever take that off, JR? Right, this is arguably the greatest rivalry ever in WWE. The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. It can't get bigger. It can't get more intense. They know each other so well. Oh, wait a minute. It looks like Rock is ready to electrify this huge crowd at WrestleMania. The most electrifying move in all of sports entertainment. It is The Rock with the people's elbow. Here it comes. Ah! And Austin had it scouted very well. A little bit too much preening. Stunner, stunner. Nope. Oh, my gosh, the spine must be there. The spine on the pine. All of the great Arn Anderson and The Rock now. Not going to waste any time looking for the people's elbow. This time The Rock hits it. Right this could be it. Looks like this may be it. No, somehow. I don't Stone believe it. I, I don't believe it, King. I don't Some, believe it. Somehow Stone Cold survives. Austin able to kick out The Rock saying, what the hell do I have to do to beat this Texas Rattlesnake finally in a WrestleMania main event? 
The Rock poises uh -oh. for another O. Oh, we've yeah. seen this. He's setting up for another rock bottom. Here it comes. Oh, my God. A thunderous rock bottom. The float over. Oh, look at this. Somehow Stone Cold Steve Austin kicks out. The Rock Ooh. continues to put the pressure on Stone Cold Steve. Look at the look on The Rock's face. He's a little bit confused here. He's got to be thinking, how on earth did the rattlesnake escape that? Not many men kick out of the rock bottom. Uh oh, JR, look at this. Do you think The Rock is thinking about another rock bottom? This main event at WrestleMania 19 may end momentarily. Austin staggers up, trying to fight out of this predicament with hard elbows. The point of the elbow to the oh, no. A rock bottom, rock bottom, a rock bottom with a hook of the barber. Oh, this has got to be it for Austin. Wait a minute, JR. Somehow Austin kicked out. I cannot believe Austin able to kick out, and neither can The Rock by the looks of his face. The Rock is in shock right now. And so are these fans. As we said, over 54,000 fans here on a beautiful day in Seattle, Washington. And The Rock hits Stone Cold Steve Austin with a perfect rock bottom, and, well, the rattlesnake kicked out. No, wait a minute, JR. Does it look like, do you think The Rock may be setting Austin up for another rock bottom? I think The Rock is obsessed. He's got to hit the rock bottom. He's got to win this match by using the rock bottom come hell or high water. Look out, Steve. Here it goes again. And now, another rock bottom? Nobody can survive this. The Rock. Ah, look at the elevation. Feel the impact. The float over. Can Austin kick out? Stone Cold Steve Austin at WrestleMania. It was a hell of a moment. Two guys who had been through so much together, and this is time for us to separate and, and uh, go down our separate roads. And it was a real emotional, real emotional moment and a real special moment. Stone Cold Steve Austin's walk up the ramp would be his last as an in-ring competitor. There's only one Texas rattlesnake, and there'll never be another like it. Although his time as a WWE superstar had come to an end, Austin would continue to fulfill his number one passion, entertaining the WWE universe. Trust in me, and I will never let you down. I gotta say, what? I want to tell you. What? I want to just say. What? You better stop that. What? In 2009, Stone Cold's legendary status was cemented as he was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. No question he is, if nothing else, the greatest WWE superstar of all time. Stone Cold Steve Austin! I want to tell each and every person here and each and every person that ever watched Stone Cold Steve Austin, it has been my pleasure and a privilege to make my living in a squared circle 20 feet by 20 feet. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I had one hellacious ride. I had to ride off in the sunset a little bit sooner than I would have liked, but I'm a happy son of a bitch on earth right now. Whether he's racing hell in the world of film and television, opening up cans of audio whoop-ass on his podcast, or stomping an occasional mud hole, Stone Cold Steve Austin continues to command the respect and admiration he deserves. The toughest son of a bitch in the WWE! Is the Texas Rattlesnake one of the biggest and most influential superstars of all time? Give me a hell yeah! And that's the bottom line.